Hello there, everybody! This is No Name 117 Spore and uh, Yo Beef Jerky. Hello! And we are back today with our From the Depths campaign, if it'll uh, show on stream. There we go. So, if I recall. Oh, wait, no, no that was last time, never mind. So we're, we're fine. We can actually scrap those uh, noob sticks if we want to. We're going to get rid of the noob sticks here relatively soon. Uh, the Onyx Watch yeah. has now moved an additional ship into the uh, square up over there. All right. Basically, we decided... Or, sorry, I thought that noob sticks were kind of cheap. Um, and unfun, and uh, Spork generally agreed. Yeah, we're deleting them, and we're close enough to being done with Leviathan anyway, and have enough of a defense now. So, the Onyx Watch is amassing a fleet. How are we going to defeat them? Just oh, they're not... speed build Leviathan? Speed build Leviathan, they're not particularly in great shape. Uh, Leviathan is currently upside down and sinking. Hmm, yes, this is not how ships tend to work. Why does the game decide that that's the reason to scrap her or something? Okay, I've caps locked her back up. So, she might have a little too much uh, armor. <laughs> um, we are going to have to trim down the armor on her. Well, first off, I want to see how helium pumps do. I don't think they're going to work as well as you think they will. I mean, yeah, the worst we can do is fail after trying. Okay, so I wanted to mess with this. Oh, I'm messing, I'm moving the conning tower about. Okay. Suddenly airship. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can't float at the moment. We're too heavy. Well, too imbalanced, more specifically. Okay, so I am stretching the conning tower out by an additional block. Okay, so I'm like 100% certain we're going to have to trim weight. Definitely. At this point. Um. So, if we're going to have to do that, uh, I think the best way to do it is, yeah, we're going to have to adjust the armor scheme. And we're going to have to make some, or we're going to have to remove some heavy armor from some various things. I'm thinking turret barbettes on, on the top side and bottom side are going to be one of the primary candidates for heavy armor removal. Okay. I'm placing down helium pumps wherever really possible because okay. they are probably going to help somewhat. I, I don't. But, yeah. Well, if if, they, if we get penetrated, though, we lose the helium and don't regain it again after or quickly after repairing. So we probably want to avoid the helium pumps if at all possible. Um. I mean, if we get penetrated, we're gonna have a hull breach to begin with. I mean, honestly, I guess it's realistic enough. It simulates water being pumped out over time and not just. Oh, the hole's fixed. All right, ships immediately back up. I've also... Yeah, okay, we can put helium pumps, but only on the lower layers. If we put them on the higher layers, it's probably not smart. Yeah, I usually do it for uh, under spaces under the waterline. Most because those are actually what's going to provide the most effect. Okay. Of course, uh, she is rather unstable. Very, very, very top-heavy. Yeah. Which is the main concern, to be honest. Um, we might want to reduce the upper belt of armor down too, because that might be a little too thick. I might, uh, I might reduce that. I do think we over-armored the ship. Oh, you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably similar in terms of points you know, to Onyx Watch Castle, to be honest. Which is apparently really bad. 
Oh, they have better buoyancy than this thing at this point. We hadn't even gotten to the upper deck yet. I mean, yeah, they're a finished ship. Of course they're going to have better buoyancy. <sighs> Well, anyway, yeah, all the uh, turrets are being rebuilt to this uh, new configuration. Uh, that new yeah. configuration. All the turrets are having their barbettes rebuilt. But we're probably going to have to put some heavy armor back on them again to uh, heighten the forward one. Heighten the... Uh, Quickly dropping her. Super firing one. Seeing how she floats. Let me try one thing, because one thing isn't helping this out. Dropping her again. Yeah, no, she's sinking. She's actually rolling over and sinking by the stern. Oh my god. So, very realistic sinking, to be honest. Ah, it's very quick. Yeah, but it's also way more realistic than anything you see in From the Depths. Alright, so... I think the upper, the upper metal belt I'm going to trim down to one block rather than the two and a half it's at right now. I think that'll uh, save us some additional weight. And then we are going to have to mess with the uh, internal belt and turtle deck. Uh, the turtle deck. So, m I move the heavy armor on the turtle back where there's nothing really good to protect. Yeah. Although we probably do want to still keep some where the AI is going to wind up being. Honestly, the, uh... What if we only armored the sides of... Like, just the slope. I... I don't think that's a great idea. Especially for some portions of it. Because I feel like we're... Way too easily ditching deck armor here when we really should be focusing on it. Okay. I'm gonna reduce the, uh... This down to a single layer of metal. Basically, we need 7-inch deck with, but we can't afford it. Well, we can't afford anything right now. Um, I mean, like I... The, the armor around the barbette charts is really extensive. That is a massive amount of weight, and it doesn't really conform with the current armor scheme. I think oh. this could be removed. The armor bands around the actual Barbettes, so... I... I don't know what's really. What do you mean by that? Here's... Here's what I'm thinking about doing. Okay, we have a weird, uh... Armor scheme fore and aft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to reduce or cut some weight out on the um, forward and aft part of the citadel. All right. So basically, this is what I was meaning: is essentially take the heavy armor layer here. Which one? Around the turrets, or...? Yeah. 
basically, the heavy armor deck around the turrets isn't really necessary. Okay, yeah, the decking there. I suppose we could get rid of the center couple layers of that for metal. Okay. Conning tower is very heavy. Yeah, basically, just imagine heavy armor is lead. Yeah. Part of me, which ones? I know we have the uh, ammo rooms in heavy armor, but there's part of me which wants to remove the forward and backward side of that, given how difficult it would be to actually land a shell in there. Yeah, I'll swap that out for metal. This is of the sideways protection on this, but not the up down protection. And that'll be for all of them. Okay, there's our aft ammo room. Okay. I still do think it's probably a good idea to keep the uh, heavy armor roof above the ammunition storage, especially since it's doubling usually as a uh, place to uh, keep the turret on. Yeah, that's useful, but the second layer of deck is just way too expensive, weight-wise. Yeah, that's, that's so look true. Look at L and Q turrets, that's basically the modification I'm making to each one. Okay. But I did say that we were going to be able to weight trim this, and it looks like we're right that we can indeed trim off some of the armor here. Seems like we're going to need to weight trim her. Yeah. She's not been watching her weight particularly well. Let's go on a diet. Imagine this being, like, the real way you go on a diet. You know, you just start lopping parts off. I mean, that's a great way to lose weight. <laughs> oh my god, I have too big of a belly. Let's just cut my arm off. No, that's fine. No, 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 the arm's useful. The belly, the belly fat isn't. So, yeah. lop the belly that's fat fair. off, keep the arm. Life advice. <laughs> I know I'm gonna leave that as heavy armor right there. Okay. Suddenly, airship. Indeed. Let me see what you're doing around Q and L turrets. Quickly dropping her. Just to see if he floats. By well, the stern, but floating a little better. Kind of? But yeah, look around QNL, and you can see what I mean. Um, I'm trying to see what you mean. Oh yeah, I filled that area up with heavy armor, and now it's just back to normal. That's fine. I'll do it on the stern turrets, um, X and right, Y. I'll do it on the... I'll do it on X, on... A. I will do it on A. Okay. Okay, how many... Okay, it's normally, is it one layer back, or how many is it on L and Q again? Though, do keep Two the Barbette back. armor, because yeah. Barbette armor is useful. God. I, I need to remember which key it is to toggle the light on. Shift-L. Shift-L? Yes. There we go, that helps. Uh, keep in mind, there is at least one block of thickness, or... Is it? No, two blocks... Thick, yeah, along the, the edges. Deck. HA deck, yeah, along the edges. So just remember that because 
I just erased from the deck. I'm going to be honest, the fact that you don't place uh, your blocks all at the same heading, all facing the same direction, honestly drives me a little bit mad sometimes. I try to be most efficient with the uh, amount of blocks I place. I'm being so weird. Sure. Yeah, but at the cost of... Uh, Making it borderline impossible to re to replace stuff. Basically, this ain't fun. <laughs> okay, there's that. So I need this here. We go hey, turrets. Deck is replaced. Okay, X and Y almost have their deck replaced here. I wasn't able to lop off all that much on them, but I've been able to lop off some weight. There we go. Doctors hate him! Here's... <laughs> Here's how, uh... Oh, wait. Yeah. Here's how this, uh... Aerolikian ship lost several thousand tons of, of weight. Well, one thing we need to do is I need to put this deck back in. On the conning tower. There we go. I'm going to drop her real quick. Yep, do drop Once test. Again. Sinking. Yep. Okay. Okay, so the next step's probably gonna make her even more top heavy, but it'll cut more weight off the boat. And that is we're gonna I don't know. Okay, we need to remove more heavy armor from locations. Where can we remove heavy armor from? I know exactly where, just give me a minute. I am currently installing the active stabilization. One, two. Walker sets, press neighbors. Okay, so it looks like Okay, why... Oh, this is interesting. Why, um, directly below... Kind of at the top of the torpedo defense, do we have, like, this double layer of heavy armor? Because we might be able to get rid of that. That adds armor to the metal. Heavy armor adds armor to adjacent blocks. Gives a plus 12 armor to other structural armor... To other structural blocks. Okay. Which adds the two plus eight from the metal blocks. So it's actually 
a kind of meta thing. I, okay. I guess. Meta, meta. So that's actually, that's actually legitimately important for okay. defense purposes. Four M color two. Nope, sorry, one. Four backwards. Point eight. Four by the scaling two. Copy all. Apply with me now. Oh yeah, I see that structural sound. That's armor. Two other structural blocks. Pistol. Light mirror. I'm gonna real quick start installing her engines. Or... I'm gonna reduce Sorry. the height of her upper belt. All right. Her upper metal belt. I'll reduce it down. Just remember the lowest. Just remember the lowest layer is actually legitimately rather important for defensive purposes and it ties into torpedo defense. Oh no, I'm talking about the upper belt, the upper metal belt, not the oh. heavy armor part. I'm gonna reduce this down to uh, two meters in height. Oh wait, was it Control L or Shift L? Shift L. There we go. You know what, if you ever have air power, or ever ha ever need um, air units, we should just build a rigid airship. There you go, that's a good little bit of power. But yeah, we should just use rigid airships for, um, like Zeppelins, if we ever need air units. Okay. And real quick drop a tester, without the actual system installed to keep her good. Where are we going to place the AI? Uh, there's a nice forward section b below the conning tower where we can put it. Can we wrap it in the conning tower? No. No. Be... Put it below the conning tower. What I'm saying. Hey, Sampa. We are rebuilding parts of this ship to make it less, uh, heavy. To make her actually float. She's going on a diet. Yep. Ate way too much little scones. Alright. Drop testing. Okay. This may help stability. Okay. Okay, so she's still down by the stern. There's still something heavy. Or uh, too much right. weight down there. Oh, I see. This is double backed. Why is this double backed? That probably shouldn't be double backed. What's double backed? Um, the armor at, on the stern end. There's an extra layer of metal there, which I've just been able to remove. Of the, uh... Okay, an extra layer of metal... Where... was it? Uh, it was, uh, it was towards the stern. It was kind of that stern back bulkhead on the, uh... Armor scheme. The, 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 we had the uh, stern and bow armor, and I've basically reduced that in terms of thickness. Um, okay. 
Honestly, I'm considering on reducing the bow armor to a single layer of metal. And the stern to a single layer of metal too, from a single layer of heavy armor, and that might get us a little bit more uh, buoyancy back. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I don't think this should be heavy armor. I'm going to do something maybe controversial. Which is? Remove armor. From where? Okay, so basically, you know the little areas that have metal slope, metal slope backing on the deck? Uh, yeah. Get rid of those. Get rid of those, replace them with metal. So while they are still technically armored, they also aren't actually over-armored. Okay. Also, trusses have are basically permanently buoyant so long as they exist, which could be useful. Oh. All right, I've removed a bit of additional heavy armor. Nice. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm gonna bring the uh, heavy armor protecting the machinery down to the normal um, heavy armor slope uh, metal slope rather than the heavy armor slope or double heavy armor slope, which we seem to be currently using. Double heavy armor slope. Actually, Honestly, I don't know. I'm we should be maybe... fine. We should be fine. Never mind. Oh god, there's a massive sp oh well to be fair, that's above machinery. Yeah, that's above machinery. That's actually too important to remove the armor of. I we might be able to get away with uh penetrations no. to the machinery. I I don't think we will. I, I think, think we can. Will. If we lose speed is that's not important to the ship being able to shoot, and it really depends on how many shots Movement, hit that area. However, is. The ability to move is though. Kinda. And, I mean, a good shot to it can seriously hinder the ship's ability to move by just killing a lot of, uh, steam produce, produce, pro production. Okay. So what are you removing armor on right now? Basically, if it has metal backing, it's probably gonna receive, um, a metal fronting as well. Okay. That said, it's within reason, because some areas can't have that sort of all-or-nothing application. If this doesn't make her float, though, we are going to reduce some of the armor around the machinery sections. Yeah. Um... Thank God for the cutaway tool. Tell me when Dropping. you're ready. Okay. Significantly lighter with a bow list, which is yep. not going to be hard to change. Yep. And um, I because... still think we need a little bit more buoyancy, but not too much more at this point. Okay, you know what? I will I will reduce the armor slightly over the machinery spaces. Try in all nothing armor scheme. Nah, we're going with this. Um just because like we already have a layer of heavy armor uh belt and then we have a second layer of heavy armor which it has to get through. And if we reduce the second layer to half, you know, uh half a heavy layer plus half a layer of metal, that's not that much of a reduction. Um, I'm, I only want to keep it at that full layer when we're protecting the turrets. Okay. Okay, so semi mag box. A little bit. I mean, I'm not going true mag box. And this should just help cut weight a tiny bit. 
Alright, so it did slightly reduce it over the turret here. I'm going to reinstall B or heavy armor right there by the turret itself. Now going back, we're just gonna have a uh, normal metal. But I'm still gonna leave the heavy armor like on top because that's a place where the belt could be bypassed. Ooh, this is a good looking cutaway. I just wanted to like that's a good looking cutaway, and I like it. Um yeah. Now I'm going to do a thing called this. It's still vertical thrust. Right, so, okay, so those are the amidships turrets. And we should cut away a little bit of this here. Bam, 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 bam. And these guys are. Okay, yeah, they're 4 meter. I'm fine with leaving those in. I mean, do remember, we are going to have to put more heavy armor back on when we want, or when we extend the uh, A and X barbettes up. Mm. So, trimming a little bit more right now and being proactive with this is a good thing. Just Apparently, her duck is gorgeous. Awesome. According to people oh. on the FTD Discord. That being said, that is a that is a horrible statement to take out of context. Your guts are gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. You like nailed the creepy voice when saying that too. <laughs> The good thing is, even though it is a layer of heavy armor and a layer of metal, if it is actually adding additional support to the metal, um, it's pretty excellent. To be honest, yeah, we could just abuse the fact that heavy armor does give metal a bit of a boost, and use very small bits of... Okay, basically just have, uh... Okay, I'm trying to think, and... How to explain this. So I'm just gonna set an, up a, an example on the not deck that we have. Critically, yeah. it's not the deck. Right here, right next to uh, Q turret, or whatever, whichever one. Is have an armor scheme like this. That'd be an interesting idea. Where basically. The health doesn't matter. It's the armor value that does. Hmm. That'd be intriguing. It would maybe not, maybe not on this ship. But... Maybe on another ship. If we can yeah, consider I'll something like that. Cruiser, probably. Yeah. Or if we do another battleship, we could do something like that, but like two layers of that where they're um, staggered. Maybe a battle cruiser. With yep. purposely thin armor because it's a battle cruiser. What, what else did you expect? Yep. All right, also dropping her into the water. Okay. okay the armor on her midship or on her machinery spaces was slightly reduced. She needs more lever action. And that's been cut down to. Okay. I think her armor's fixed. Let me check. Let me check the map. Make sure there's nothing. Oh, okay, Deepwater Guard's capturing an area. How much of a fleet does the Onyx Watch fucking have now? Look at what the Onyx Watch has built up there. <laughs> what? Oh God. It's a lot of green fields, it seems. Uh. Jump. 
Are they coming to smite you... us? I don't feel safe. Okay. Oh, I'm picking up. I'm scared. Let's drop again. All right. So basically, we need to rush Leviathan into service now. Essentially. Yep. Okay. Are you? Think you need a sub or monitor? No. Um. Okay. So. I think in terms of our armor at this point, there's like nothing else we can do. Let's just let's just get her into service. Okay. So got me stop the superstructure to do. Yep. I'm going to work on subdivisions on the upper deck here. Unfortunately, we probably are going to have to just sacrifice the ability to walk down into the lower deck for the moment. Okay. You can always regain it sometime later. Is she sitting at the good water line? Beginning to. Still very stern heavy. I don't like that. We and can always just. No other way to do that. We can just rebalance it in the future. We can rebalance her in the future. Um, she'll probably actually get a little bit more bow. She might get a little more bow heavy as we add a little bit more uh, armor there, but we will have to also increase the height of the X turret, so that will also require some heavy armor. Um, so are her turrets done? Her turrets are basically just the side of the turret right now. Alright, might need to get those done here. Um, do they have the white- do they all have the whitened bulk- or uh, barbette, or do they not? None of them do. None of them do. Okay, cool. But I don't care. Barbette's the same for all of them. Um, Sweet. it's just some of them are it's... taller. That's the only difference. Alright, that's nice. So I'm just going to basically scrap the current internals, interior for the current gun turret internals, and not care about okay. um, fire rate. I'm going to raise her again. But yeah, basically, fire rate, I don't care anymore. I really can't care less about fire rate, because we have enough guns. It, should be, it shouldn't be an issue. New World War II campaign, lease your third, third of your fleets coal powered. I don't know if that's wrong or not, but. I mean, I don't usually refit machinery on ships, so I guess I'm guilty of that too. In the 1930s. Oh, that is a little annoying. Yeah, that would be great. A little cursed. Okay. No, I don't think we're going to be able to get her done in time to face that Onyx Watch fleet, so we might just want to attack it with our main force here. Probably. A sad proposition, but also, you know, the correct one. Yeah. Still, I'm currently setting up the turrets with a more vertical loading mechanism because it's just a prettier way to set the guns up. It's also 6 meter shells, and with the new... Uh... Oh, Cobra's getting attacked by Crossbones, which was uh, in that one square. Um, Alright, pull her back then. Nope, she's actually... blockaded. She's blockaded. We can't do anything. Uh, we're gonna have to get more ships into the combat zone. Please start sending the fleet. I am... Tetrising. 
I'm playing Tet. Okay, well, just a moment. Let's send the fleet now. I am playing Tetris right now. So you get good scrubs. I, 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 I shouldn't I shouldn't sing that song. They may copyright strike everything. Because, didn't you know, singing a song is illegal? Oh, yeah. Okay, we might actually might be able to reduce a bit of weight when the turrets are complete, because the turret setup was very, very heavy armor based between the two. And I don't think we need that heavy armor there. We do need a little bit of a heavy armor cap to them. Honestly, I think us two center turrets can just share, effectively, of our bet. That's probably a bad idea. Well, probably, but it would also be a way easy, better way to... Close are they? <sighs> oh no, I don't think they can. I think it would be heavier. Would it be? It'd be close. But then, you know, one taking out one would probably take out both. Quick, just going to turn that. Right now there's at least a chance that one oh. would survive. I have more than enough space for this. Oh, never mind. That's good information. Okay, attack's about to begin. Okay. So, Cobra and Cottonmouth against a Crossbones. We can get that in, we can get Cerberus in. Oh, sweet. Get good scrubs. Oh, that's a crossbones against crossbones. Nice. We can just throw, um, hold on. It also tried to board. Do we want to board or do we want to sink? I'd say let's sink because we haven't done ship combat in a while. Yes. Okay. We can throw a V1 in as a, uh, nope, it has no materials. So, are you going to command Cerberus? If so, I'll command. Uh, I'll command Cottonmouth. All right. Then I'm going to place Cobra right where she can actually engage with. Okay. The fleet. Uh, V1, by the way, has no materials. At all. Receiving. Um. Where's get good scrub? That's V1. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we'll not put her in then. Basically, it's a floating Hulk. Okay. Yeah, we'll just use uh, Cerberus then. Use a legacy cruiser and up to the early 30 issues, so other than her speed, quite dominant. Yeah, we can certainly get that. You want to begin? Battle? One second. Yeah, let's go. How do I turn off a resource view? There we go, control R. And she's shooting up uh, Cerberus pretty well. Do crossbones have torpedoes? Does Crossbones have Maybe. torpedoes? I would say she's shooting up Cerberus pretty well, but we're shooting her up pretty well. Oh, her superstructure just disintegrated. Cottonmouth? No. Or Cerberus? No, the ship we're shooting at. The crossbones. Ah, uh, okay. 
Oh, she just got hit by a large missile. Yep, there we go. Good kill. Nice. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Build a ward. These guys are across. You finally start phasing them out. That makes sense. All right. So deep water guard is not retaking our square. So how, how are we gonna deal with that on with that on X watch force? Because we got our own castle ships. If we got in position and immediately captured their palisade with that on X watch fleet, then destroyed the rest, we'd probably be in a pretty good uh, situation. Hmm. I think we two damage to negative ten seconds. Okay, good. Receiving. Receiving. Okay, I'm pulling everything out of play. Receiving. Cerberus definitely took the brunt of that, though. Cerberus, yeah. I'm gonna pull back. Alright. Uh, Mind if I uh pull Cobra? Uh, let me take a look at her. She took no damage during yeah. the- well, yeah, nope, no damage. Yep, pull her up. Moving now. Okay. So, Receiving. we'll grab the salvage with her in Cottonmouth. Receiving. It's like, still a bit there. Receiving. Moving now. Cottonmouth just needs to get closer. Maybe one go back. You're allowed to keep some material on you. Alright, so the Onyx Watch Force now is massive. Yeah. We're gonna have to deal with that. How? We have two javelins. We could get them to. Two javelins, a flounder. Okay, so the flounder is a deep water. Okay, so we got the javelins. Oh, the flounder. Yeah, we have... Okay, so we got Cerberus, which is the javelin, if I recall. Two javelins. We've got Guardian. Um, we probably don't want Competitor involved. And then we have the Palisade. Um, and then we the have javelins our javelins and Palisade were all holding massive quantities of resources. 100k easily each. And if we want to use them and expend them in a battle, then eh, losing that much resources is bad. They won't need that much. Well, we're looking at the. Uh, hopefully, the Onyx Watch Force is just delaying for now. Um, but if we're smart about it, and instead of commanding our ships, we immediately hop on board theirs and try to take a couple of theirs. Uh, trying to grab the Harlick in Palisade removes a lot of the Onyx Watch's force. Uh, and would send them into chaos, presumably. We were able to, like, immediately put down some uh, repair tentacles on the things and get them close to each other. Well, that could help. Or it could be the case where we restrict the ships which spawn to a relatively low amount, board each one, capture it, and uh, then, you know, utilize them against the next enemy ship to spawn. So essentially take... Well, this looks like basically one of every single Onyx Watch ship in the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Receiving. Okay, so right now we gotta get uh, Cerberus repaired, though. Moving now. Receiving. Yeah, so let's get Cerberus repaired real quick. Uh, Leviathan, uh, I don't think we really should be trying to get her completely built up. We should. We need to. But she we won't can't... finish in time. Yeah, she won't. But let's work on her in the meantime. Still. Yeah, I'm putting a bit more work on, on her right now. Yeah. We still gotta wait for Cerberus to get back anyways. Yeah, the Leviathan is floating, at least. At the moment. 
I'm going to start Lance Head's conversion, if that's fine with you. I'm not sure I'd do it right now. We need the. We might need the combat ship. A tiny little ship with a few crams. I think That's it's. It? I think. I think it's better to keep her right now than to convert her. Um. Once we get Leviathan done, that's when we really want to start doing all this stuff. But Leviathan's not done, so. Okay. <sighs> okay, so that deck can be played it over whenever now. Um, we just need to get the uh, turret tops working. Nice well, to be honest, Lytheon's, uh, the turret itself isn't that far from completion. Yep. Now the issue is just getting the guts installed and hooking them up to the turret top. Yeah, get get the turrets done on Leviathan, that's really gonna help us out. Ready to fire? 3.1 RPM. Actually a uh, pretty realistic, albeit slightly fast fire rate. Okay. our midships turret then. One of them. Yeah. Okay, I will say, the X turret might have to be built slightly differently from the other ones. Honestly? Um, if... I have a vague plan, basically just prefab the guts and connect them up yeah. for each turret. Well, and that should just allow us to... Yeah. Oh, God. I think for X turret, um, you're going to have to get a little bit, little bit weird with it, if that makes sense. Um, because of, uh, how the armor scheme is just going to work on it. Oh my oh, god, no. I tried to rotate a block, like, five times, and it took me five times to get the damn rotation tool to work. Oof. So if you want to see where the problem with X turrets going to lie, you can look at the uh, now completed barbette for it. Could just raise X turret, honestly, a little bit. What do you mean by raise? 
Hold up, why is there massive... There are like really big areas that just don't have any pumps whatsoever. Oh, there are? And then... Yeah. Didn't realize that. It felt like there were some. Barbets get air pumps because those are the only things practical inside of a uh, turret, anyways. Okay, you know what? Also, a turret is raised, uh, physically. Yeah. It is, because of how the deck's gonna work. Ready to witness the first time these guns have ever fired? Sure. Nice. Okay, so you should be able to copy that turret to uh, L and Y very easily. With the way I have the turret set up, I can actually probably just grab the bits above the deck. Or just grab the bits, um, just to... I'm trying to think. To just grab the bits above the turret rotator. Okay. Anyway, the barbettes for all the turrets should be done now. Um, there will there will need some additional decorations to uh, fix some stuff with them, but other than that, they're done. Let me save the campaign too, just in case uh, something bad happens. Alex, the Onyx Watch deciding to erase our little navy. Damn, that is a lot of Onyx watch ships. We're going to have to do something about that now. All right. Receiving. Receiving. Okay. Moving now. Receiving. Moving now. Moving the Javelin, moving the Palisade. Uh, Actually, hold... yeah, all the turrets can just straight up fit. Moving um, competitor, moving uh, V1, and moving Cerberus, and moving uh, Cobra. I think I want to hold the Flounder back, because we probably don't want to use that one. Okay. Cutting off. Hey, can you set up the actual turret rotator and such for... Oh, God. Oh god, no, no, no. What do you mean, turret rotator? Oh, hold on a second. That's ah, loading. Save. Okay. Please do not fear. I am definitely not breaking things. Nothing is broken. We've always been at war with Eurasia. So basically, you have the turret rotator at the bottom, and the guts right on top of it, and then the turret actual gun house goes wherever it needs to vertically with um, the well, Snake, actually, it, it, basically, it's just connected at the middle. So. Okay. TLDR, don't worry. Okay, come on. 
set up. Okay, so I'm getting the first layer in the armored conning tower set up. Alright, and I am getting the turrets installed. If I remember what I saved the action turret top as. Is this traversable? It is not traversable at the moment. I need to get rid of that. Oh uh, no, I don't think that's I now did traversable. Blue Eye Sensor Change Chart Gun House. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Alright, Cunning Tower is almost done. So, A and X turrets will have faster cooling rates. Otherwise, nothing else has changed. Okay. Are you keeping the... Are you keeping a heavy armor divider between the two sides of the turret? Yes, that means if one... If one magazine decides to go quibbly... The other one doesn't actually... A and Y turrets are literally the exact same height. Moving now. Yeah. No, like, they, they literally have the exact same height above uh, the guts. Anyways. Okay. Oh my god. Do we want to drop her into the water? No. Because we need to make sure that she still floats. Okay, so I accidentally spawned a full turret on the sh on the hull. Can you please uh, allow undo? There we go. Try now. Oh, wait, no. One there we go, there we go. Just... There we go, thank you. Yeah, so I, I, I built the... I built it on the ship. Not uh, on the actual turret. So... Huh. That's, that's a definite S moment. Why is it red still? I don't know what's going on there. Don't worry about it. Anyways, the armor dividers generally are staying because they are okay. useful to have. Okay, how do we want to deal with this Onyx Watch Force over here? Snook them. I mean, I say we gotta board them. We gotta board some of them at least if we want to win this. There are so many ships yes. up over there. Honestly, if we board them, then we can actually Receiving. cause a bit of chaos with them. Alright, I'll move Cerberus forward until she uh, blockades them. At which point, uh, yeah. We'll try boarding them. I would say, once we board them, what we should do is we should make sure that we have repair bots and repair tentacles on our hotbar. And then just place them down and fix the AI. And then get the ship what operational. Okay, where are they? Miscellaneous. Control O. Repair bots on one, repair tentacles on two. So it turns out she only has two types of turret. Okay. Um. That's nice to have. Good to know.
There is a potential hole in the turret where, uh, I don't know, it's not too bad. And all the turrets aren't turning. Why? I was editing one of them, so maybe that's why. Try again. You're all set to slot one. I'm turning for me. Oh, move out of the way. Uh, do that. There we go. Alright, so Cerberus is blockading them all. That's a full broadside. Okay, cool. All of her main battery turrets are installed. Glorious. Okay, so... Okay, you want to save her and begin the battle setup phase? Yes, please. And I'll save the campaign. Actually, I'll save it in an empty spot. Just in case we have to uh, revert a little bit. Alright. This is the decisive battle. So we don't want to take our whole fleet in? I'm trying to take it in. It's not letting me. Receiving. Receiving. Some of them were stacked on top of each other. Receiving. We actually so have a parts advantage here. <laughs> really? But we probably really? don't want to spawn everything in at the same time. It's showing 77k versus 56k for us. Okay, if we spawn everything in it, we'd be at 200,000 cubic meters. Do we really want to do that? Well, that's including Leviathan, right? That's not including Leviathan. Huh? Oh, yeah. Let's grab the javelins, too. This is... The javelins are in. Gonna... Javelins are in. No, there's only one of two in. Wait, what? This one's not in. No, they're all in. They're all in. Javelin, okay. javelin, and... Uh, uh, where's... Oh, yeah. Uh, Cerberus is up ahead. Alright, so spawn on Cerberus right now. Spawn on Cerberus? Okay. Yeah, spawn on Cerberus, jump off. Cerberus will be in good capture position. I'm gonna just real quick take a picture of those. On. No, hold on. Go up here, go up here, spawn in. Hold on. Taking a picture of all this madness. Okay, so we can like literally play Cerberus in the middle of them. So what we'll do is we'll play Cerberus in the middle of them. Jump off. And lose her? No, pull her back oh. after you jump off. Warped her right now. Okay. Now jump off. Uh, okay. Alright, the farthest back Cerberus can go is there. Receiving. Which is where we will put her and everything else. Okay, Cerberus is what? Receiving. Okay, I think my game is horribly desynced because Receiving. you are very far away and Cerberus was never in that location. Okay, jump off of her now. Receiving. Is she in that location? Receiving. No. Receiving. I'm gonna reduce the battle, uh, the battle size down. Uh, I don't. I think this is FTV multiplayer being. FTB yeah. multiplayer. We'll go like a hundred thousand cubic meters. I don't want to do two hundred thousand cubic meters. Hold on, move Cerberus again. Receiving. Okay. Like to where she should be. Jump off of her. Are you in that location yourself or no? I am where Cerberus is. Okay. All right. Cerberus is on top of me at the moment. Are you there? Uh, hold on a second. The game loves to have this stupid edge scroll on the map, which is, you know, makes it impossible to do anything. Look at the map. Okay, are you standing where Cerberus is right now? 
I'm are, sinking where she is. Are you standing where I am right now on the map, on top of me? No, you're back there somehow. What? She's not. What the fuck? We may want to reload from that save. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to reload from that save. And this is why we had the just in case save. Okay. We'll try this again. Alright, so... We'll start the battle. All right. So in terms of what we move her to the north or wherever, Cerberus, just to indicate that we are actually still in the proper, we're still actually synced, essentially. Uh, give me one moment. All right. All right, moving Cerberus right now. She moved. No. What the hell? We're gonna have to reload the room, aren't we? Probably. Uh, FTG, everybody. Why? Alright. Try this again. I'm gonna have to briefly turn off my uh, screen capture here. So you guys don't see the password. The over secret password. There we go. You excited for the upcoming DLC for World of 2? Yeah, I am. I hate how often this game has technical difficulties. Yeah. This isn't like, uh, Super Mario Commander 2. I, I, my, apparently, it desyncs so hard sometimes that, you know, in a multiplayer, in a PvP game, I would absolutely smash my friend's base, and he would literally see the exact opposite. He he'd see my force repelled. We'd wow. basically just be playing two completely different games. Like that's how hard the game could desync sometimes. Alright, so receiving. Check now. Receiving. Receiving. Is Cerberus moving? Just no. just move her a little bit. Did it work? Okay, just... I moved her. I see another ship moves. Other ships moving, but I don't see Cerberus moving. How about we... Receiving. Have... Now? No movement. Okay, so Cerberus is literally just glitched for you for some reason. Completely. Alright, warp to... Maybe a javelin then? The forward deployed javelin and just jump off of her instead? Do you see the really forward deployed javelin or no? I only see one javelin. Hold on, I'm going to screen share real quick. I cannot screen share because Discord is a pain. Okay, I'll drag the javelin you're on forward. Do you see her move now? One second. This is what I see. Roughly. But... Okay, warp. Do you see seven? Seven is in the right location. Warp to her. The palisade? Oh. Oh, it. Hold on. Is. Why is it even jiggling? I don't know. Warp, warp. 
Seven is Cerberus. You see my location, how there is a ship on seven? Just warp to that one. Receiving. Receiving. Because you're showing me a screenshot which looks like what we should be seeing. So Cerberus is moving now. Oh, okay. she is now? I, I guess. Hold on. I think you're just, like, massively delayed or something. Okay, yeah, now you're moving her. No, put her, put her... I, I don't see any movement. <laughs> what? Is this the massive Onyx Watch fleet doing this? I don't know, just jump off of Cerberus right now or something. You know, I was expecting a fleet, I'll just grab one, another ship. Just... By the way, everything is spazzing out like there's some sort of... Floating point error. Um, I'm considering it. And the ocean is goofy. Hey, so there may be a number that's getting really, really big. Um, and that's killing the game due to overflow. Uh, or something's overflow. That could be Basically, it. Basically, because I'm noticing shaders are absolutely broken right now. This might be something on your end. Because it's not happening on my end. All of the boxes are jittery. Here, go in the first person mode and look around. Okay, yeah, I see that. The only way we're going to get through this, though, is by defeating this fleet. Hold on. Let me get to the surface. Am I seeing it at all? I think the boxes do jitter a lot. I think it's just the positions of where everything's at. All of the OW ships are gone. What? Hopefully once we get to battle, this glitchiness will stop. But we're not going to spawn them all in at the same time. Or, should, or, do we wanna, or do we want to spawn them all in at the same time? Yeah, my computer would die. Um, all right, we'll I spawn literally in. cannot see the Onyx Watch fleet. You know what? Spawn them all at once. Hopefully it'll crash the game or something. It'll stop being a pain. I mean, hopefully it won't crash the game, but... Yeah. I mean, it's like, we have everything up to this point saved anyway, so. Yeah. But do you see an Onyx Watch fleet? I do. I still do. Okay, okay cause I don't. They've just vanished completely. Actually... I'm just gonna we might, or they might still, over. even in spawning 200,000 in, might still not be enough. Yeah, I still think only roughly half of them and half of ours are going to spawn in. So let me uh, sort these out. So I think Guardian... Okay, so I'm going to get Cerberus, uh, the Palisade, Javelins, and uh, yeah, Guardian to the top there. Um, let me uh, actually move Cottonmouth, Cobra, and Competitor up. V1 will be at the bottom. Uh, javelin, ja or Palisade, Javelin... Okay. Cobra is on a com is com in a completely different right. location, and on your screen you see the right. Hopefully, once everything spawns in, it'll fix itself. I mean, we just gotta start boarding and taking these ships, whatever ones we can. And I'm not seeing the battle slider having changed. Did you just move a ship? I, I guess. Nothing's updating for me. Yeah, the whole Onyx Watch fleet is moving location now. Oh, yeah, you did just move uh, Cobra up. I'm... Why are you on her? Look at this Discord. This is my screen right now. Uh. Okay, so I'm going to have to do all the capturing on my own at this point, and we want to keep uh, our basically. ships... We want to keep our ships back so that we make sure that um, I can get on board these guys. Okay? I, I just want to see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. At all. Because, from what I can tell, the game has completely and utterly desynchronized between us. It's it, This sounds like an issue on your end. Definitely. It um, really does! And I don't know what's going on! <laughs> you know, just... Press battle. 
Uh, give me a moment to get into a better position here. Want to be able to at least capture something. All right, begin battle. Battle is beginning. Let's see, how, will the game crash badly or will it not? Uh, game is a slideshow currently. Better and than the, ship the I was hoping screenshot to... that I get. Yeah. Okay. Make sure everything's firing. Everything should be firing um. now. Oh, they got is some... Corresponding? I don't know. She might not be. Because even though I tried spawning in everything, it only spawned in about half the things, I believe. This is a very nice PowerPoint presentation. Trying to be able to board something, I disabled the propeller. But I think she has paddle wheel backups. No, actually, I think those are turrets. Through the deck. Put me inside. Thank you. I'm in the lamb system. In the boiler room. Alright, I captured one of their ships. Okay. Hold on. I gotta get repair bots down. I've taken control of Guardian because... Uh, yeah, Cobra wasn't spawned in. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of two damage. On yeah, which I side? I don't know. Okay. So I've confirmed the capture of one ship. Oh, okay. So that should uh, distract them for a while. I'm going for their ironclad. Competitor, Cerberus, Guardian. Oh, sorry, yeah, Competitor's not. Alright, so Cerberus and Guardian are fine. One of the javelins is damaged, but who cares? It's a Unnamed ship. I might have just killed the ship I captured. We are facing a couple of their sailing vessels. Oh god! A whole battery of large missiles just struck. Which ship? Guardian. And the game is yet again a slideshow. I'm going to, for the sake of performance, okay. turn on the graded mode. There we go, that's actually giving the ship some degree of frame rate. 
All right, the AI on the thing got killed just as I approached her. So... Honestly, we're gonna have some ships. I kind of want that green field because it looks really nice. But it's also not a big concern that, I, that it survives. Yeah, I don't know. One of them's disintegrating right now. We've lost no ships yet. <clears throat> All right, we've killed two. We've killed two, captured two. At the moment. I don't know if uh, the two we captured are gonna survive. Um, if they I, do, that's nice. If they don't, oh yeah. well. But I did wind up giving them uh, repair bots and a repair tentacles, so they can fix each other and fix themselves. Oh yeah, Guardian doesn't have repair bots. Looking at the map right now, seeing what's available. And any ship you can board and capture would be great too. There's one ship right, we are this... absolutely mutilating. I'm with seeing missiles. ships. I'm seeing ships just like fly about the scene. Oh, the AI um, on one of those ships is dead. It's gonna go down. We're not gonna be able to get there in time. And this ship's getting targeted by. Yep, it's dead. No, you mean like you know how um, blueprints move about sometimes? Yep. Or how ships move about on the. Oh God, no! Guardians. Guardians taking very serious hits. Well, everything else is, too. And yeah, she stopped. Okay, so the AI is dead on another ship, and it's too damaged now. Oh. Garni has lost command po her command capabilities. I am turning on her AI, though. Okay. Okay, we're kind of to the point where capturing more ships is difficult. Although, I'm better spawn then. Okay, I've got a successful board going on here. Oh, I'm stuck on a couple blocks again. Oh, god damn it, she's on low health now. The ship I boarded immediately got to low health. So a capture is impossible. I didn't notice that Guardian has shields. Receiving. I'll walk over to Guardian to help you out here. Are you boarding that little ship in front of us, or no? No. I'm literally unable to do anything on account okay. of the, on account of the game strip just being a slideshow. I was born I've in the land, boarding. but this is too much. I've got a board. See if you can. She ours now. She's ours now. Nice. No, I don't. I accidentally uh, booted up steam there. All right, so I got the bastion. Receiving. Okay, so whenever the mandrill spawns, and I want to see if I can get her. Okay, I'm just gonna order everything holds fire. Order everything holds fire. Okay. Come on. Turning off, receiving. Turning off, receiving. Uh. Receiving. 
Get everything to hold fire if you can. Wow. They already killed her AI before I could even board. We, we can't even, we can't even get a capture here because everything immediately shot. I was trying to get them all to hold fire, but nope. If I can maybe get aboard before she completely despawns. Oh, it doesn't matter. God damn it. I swear, it's like, let's order everything to hold fire. And then have none of it hold fire. Alright. Receiving. Gunnery enabling command. I'm pulling everything out of play. We All did right. that was a win. That was definitely a victory. Their fleet's destroyed. Um some of our ships we should definitely pull back, like the Bastion. I think the Ironclad should pull back. Oh, the Ironclad? I want to take that. Yeah. I want to take a look at it. I'm in a battle with Z1. What? Receiving. Moving now. Okay, so that Halberd needs to pull back. Uh, what? Receiving. Okay, so the game's saying that I'm still in a battle. That's odd. Yes, very. Please just save and okay. let's reload. Save to co-op, because we yep. won. Alright, return to lobby. Um, you restart your game right now. I will leave this... Right. I'll, I'll restart the server. You restart the game. Okay, make sure to... Do the thing. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Servers restarted. Um, Netter, custom settings, enemy combat. Supremely challenging. Load a save. There we go. And then I'll wait for you to get back. Honestly, I didn't expect this game to go so well. Up Though, until to be fair, now. we are we'll, only in the. Uh, first two wars. Yep. <clears throat> I might go grab a quick snack if that's okay. Let me go do that as right. you get back in. Let me get my beer back, sign up. Then run maybe an ad break. <clears throat> ah, yes, snake oil. <laughs> if you like nuclear bombs, come to 1 800 Nuclear Bombs R Us. <laughs>
All right, I am back now. Hello there. Hello. Let's uh start the game up and see if that fixed things or Watch not. They're somehow made worse. Oh, yeah, we're still in battle. You're still in battle. Oh, what? Nope. The game isn't. Uh, it's starting me on the sea floor. It's starting me on the sea floor too. But other than that, are you still in battle? Nope. Good. Receiving. Moving now. See if you provide them, please. Moving Open down. that. No, not the starting fortress. The big boy battleship. Receiving. How am I doing today? Okay. We just feed a big uh, Onyx watch force. I got a uh, little uh, bacon cheese stick here. Yeah, cheddar cheese, smoky bacon cheese stick. Now, so I'm actually going to get that lance head um properly. Get yep. lance head properly refit. I feel as I feel like that's okay. Auxiliary, as an auxiliary vessel, because honestly, she has no she has no place in the line of battle or any field of battle really. One question: Can you get me a casement done first? Casement? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Okay, uh, cool. I do, however, need to get a relatively... So basically my plan is to either have a rotating casement, i.e. the APS is mounted on a turret, or a mantlet mounted casement, which is... It's just a fixed... It's fixed on a deck. I'm I not think sure. the rotating casement would be better for Levy. Is it bad I'm starting to call her Levy? Levy? No. Leviathan. It's not bad. How to load it. Uh, 10 degree elevation seems awful. Hold up, actually. How many Leviathans? At least four. However many we can afford, like, when we get her. I mean, we'll definitely have the materials to be able to afford, uh, several. Hey, so do you think 10 degrees is enough for a small casemate? Uh, I mean, that that's going to reduce the more you increase the caliber. Fair. Let's increase the caliber a little bit. What's it now? 120. 120. It's 4.7 inches. And it is at 9 degrees. Elevation and depression. I think that's a little too low, to be honest. It's probably why I don't want the guns in these, especially with how much the ship has been rocking. Anyways, yeah, the casements are going to be molded to fit inside of whatever deck we have, so just give okay. me a deck. Give me a deck line, or a Actually, structure. I don't, don't want to build a deck here yet. Give me a structure and I'll fit the casements to that because that's what I'm. Doing. Okay, so. Okay, so you see um, how the bow is elevated and how the bow part is elevated, correct? Mm hmm. Um, that deck's gonna stretch back and kind of uh, start to. In well, it'll grow a little bit and then start to enclose before it hits the uh, aft turret over here and then we're going to have a second uh, bit of deck um, kind of surround, not the aft turret, the midship turret. Can you make then... a rough, can you make a rough line of what you're thinking? I can try, Which I don't probably think would. I don't think it'll help. Like this is going to stretch you... backwards roughly. Okay. Um, and then, you know, kind of enclose, maybe not quite that far back, but. Just do this. Okay, so you can imagine something kind of like this, and then having a funnel there. Alright. And then that would be your casemate deck. 
this has very little side um would it be possible to instead thin the hull out a little bit to this uh as that will then allow me to essentially like step it outwards I mean, we can do a few steps outwards, and then we're going to do some steps back as we start getting closer to the turret. Um, but it I might... feels like the raised forecastle is really wide. But I, m I might... massively thinned out. I might uh, allow it to be thinned out, like, here, for example. I think... I think... Yeah, I think we can get away with this. One more block of thinning out. Oh, if he's the Onyx Watch, sends another fleet this that size. Oh god, I'm sure that would be sad. It would be. Uh, what what would your name suggestion be? Because right now we have a we have a set of names. Good list, yeah. Yeah. Colossus. Okay. I think that one's on the list, but yeah, that'd be a good one. Nope, it's not on the list. How did that one not get on the list? I thought... I remember mentioning it. I don't think I heard you then. Okay. Oh god. Lancehead, you need to be a bit more stable. You're gonna be getting cargo. You can't be rocking and rolling. What are you, a... ACDC? Man, though, the ship's really bright right now. I should wait. No, I shouldn't be doing that. Actually, yeah, I should. Because this this will be below deck, so might fill that in. What? Oh God, no, 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 no! Please, what? no! God oh, dang it! Don't you love improperly setting up the, uh... Don't you just love improperly setting up the mirror? Oh yeah, that's annoying. Wait, hold Especially on, no, I was supposed to build this a deck erase... lower. Especially when it decides to just erase literally half the ship. Gotta hate crams. Okay, so what I was going to do here was I was actually going to build the deck at this layer. No! Why did you do that? How did you do that? What? what? Weird fill tool. We'll, a very weird fill just happened where it just went through a block. Ah, yes, indeed. I don't know how it transitioned through a block, but it did. Okay, so... Alright, so that should be traversable at the very minimum. Um, which means that I'm actually going to get rid of some of this. I don't know specifically how this is going to work. Do you have the stair? We don't. Um, well, we have a stairwell in place in the, uh, conning tower, but that's it. Um, I don't know how fully traversable the ship's going to be at first. To be honest. 
It will eventually be fully, like, 100% tra or traversable, but right now... Uh, no. That looks so much better without the crams sticking out sides. Okay, let me pull our ships back. Moving now. Receiving. Competitor didn't return. Receiving. You didn't Moving return. Now. Ironclad still returning at slow speed. I want to take a look at that Ironclad. Uh, do note that they are capturing another one of our squares, so we might want to send some stuff over that way. Like V1. I'll send V1 and the Cobras out over that way. Okay. Is it DW Deep Water God? Yep. Competitor will start right, moving there too. Everything else is a little too uh, far back. What's the what's the resource situation on the? Cope and the Vipers. They are full. Well, they're full. Co Cobra's full. Cottonmouth isn't quite full. I just put more material in the Cottonmouth. Well, Cottonmouth though. doesn't have. Cottonmouth doesn't act. Cottonmouth has way more storage yeah. on board. In terms of materials, we're so. okay on them. Alright, good. Okay, so in terms of where I'm actually going to start building the deck, I'm probably going to start building it. Where's her AI at? No. Thank you. Let's see. So if you look at Lance Head, uh, she has a lot of space inside. Like, an ab actually quite ludicrous amount of space. Okay. Man, do you remember when you had to uh, stay on the same block you were using to fill a space? Um, vaguely. I remember the uh, absolute fury. The fact that I remember when they didn't mirror, and that was absolutely infuriating. Oh yeah. Um, so that's what they sent to, uh, attack that, then. A flying squirrel. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Nope, well, we're gonna have to fight a flying squirrel. I have missiles. That's not a threat. Okay. Give me a minute so I can... ...stick some, uh, metal beams over... Okay. ...the cargo deck. I'm going to save the campaign again. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to use the just-in-case save if we want to save something, but it's, like, extremely risky. Oh, they're still capturing the square. Should probably do the battle sooner rather than later, so that they don't... we don't give them a square. Is it Rocky after you? I do not know that reference. Ah! Are you kidding me? I just wanted to place some metal down. Okay. Okay, cool. Do it. Beginning the battle. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the paddle wheel. Um, but... Yeah. Alright, taking command of Cobra. Okay. Taking command of Cottonmouth. We got, uh, V1 backing us up. To be honest, it's not going to be a big, a very big threat. Just avoid the missiles. Begin battle. Oh god, this is a hiccup. Yeah. I'm going to stand out, stand out on my ship with a minigun and shoot. Honestly, actually, I want to see how good the anti-air guns are. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently very, very good. <laughs> Given how quickly she stopped existing, <laughs> look out! Uh, remember when the flying squirrel was actually a threat?
Ja. <laughs> just got blasted out of the sky. I just looked out and just... That's just like she disintegrated. I didn't even see what she got shot by. Just... Died. Ah, uh, an old cartoon. Okay. Oh, competitor's still heading out this way. We probably don't need her anymore. Given that they're not able to capture that square. So we own a total of three squares of territory right now. Receiving. <laughs> Alright, putting Leviathan back in the water. Um, do you want to get an AI room built on Leviathan? Uh... Yeah, we're definitely gonna I wanna have... finish... Alright, I want to finish my... Changes to Lancehead, because... It's rather important to have something with storage. And honestly, most of the changes are literally okay. just, this needs to be a bit faster. Yeah. Uh, what sort of chain or uh, secondary changes? Uh, um, or weapons, yeah. Uh, that, we don't know yet. Um, we're probably going to have a dual-purpose gun, and then we're going to have a casemate gun. It's really going... Oh my god, we've Seriously. I feel like it would be better to have the casemate gun done so and put in on uh, Leviathan before I really build out the deck so I kind of know what to build around. Um, I'll do that, and just allow that to be a little odd. Three meter per second top speed. That, that's so blazingly quick. I know, right? Actually, what, is, what is like? At, hold on. What is? Oh at? wait, wait a minute. Never mind. <laughs> no name never sleeps. He designs new ships. Seems like a mix of Koenig and uh, USS Wyoming. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> no name never sleeps. He designs. Oh my god, yeah. Alright, 13 meters per second top speed. This is not enough to keep up the fleet. As such, I am going to do what's got to throw a game of And is this straight up just a freight motor? Yeah. Okay. Right, walking speed in meters per second is about 1.4 meters per second. What about running speed? Apparently, running speed is a actual metric. Yeah. Sprint speed meters per second. Foot speed or sprint speed is the... Okay. Steam engines. Small three meter propeller because those are more power dents. Fuck. Oops. Average Oops. running speed meters per second. The average... Uh, average spinning speed is about 15 miles per hour. MPH to meters per second. Oh, All right, my so life I could I could my out life dealing with Google. So that uh, <laughs> what was it? Was it three meters per second or six meters per second? You were getting out of that ship. Well, that was three meters at literally ten percent thrust. Okay, I mean I'm just but, saying that that uh, speed yeah. was slow enough that um. That speed's slow enough that I could probably outrun it. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, that was also, again, 10%. Yeah. I'm adding two tri triple expansion steam engines to it, though. 
You can never go wrong with compound steam engines. Never. Ever. Compound steam engines are love, compound steam engines are life. And honestly, they are their own form of Tetris in some in some respects. Seriously, I loved I I was just so happy when they added it added a uh, multi expansion compound steam engines to the game. Yeah. You're not gonna be a very large boiler, we're actually just gonna single block Let's explode. because Okay, come on. Well, that, that that's not the engine. The engine only comes with parts. The boiler explodes, because the boiler is straight up just a pressure bomb. It's straight up just a pressure bomb of very worrying power on in the heart of the ship. Okay, so we know that all of that needs, uh, needs to exist. Okay, so I say we try to get Leviathan operational tonight, but we don't build the stairwells until tomorrow. I think I think we can the skimp stairwells? on the yeah. I think we can skimp on the stairwells. Okay, cool. Uh, we don't have a rudder still, and that's not bad. That's not good. She's still down by the stern for some weird reason. It's like she gets. I mean, it's probably due to her bow having so much additional. Empty, yeah, compared to the stern. I might try to... I, I know I put some lead on her keel at the stern. I'll probably remove that lead and uh, transfer it over to the bow and see if uh, we can really even her out a bit. Oh! Okay. Okay. Probably won't change much, but... Once it just flew out of the water. Thrust are too powerful, probably. That can be fixed. I have the power to do that. Let's change that. I'm roughly midships now. No, no, uh, no, uh, no general purpose PID. Okay, that's a bit dumb, but okay. Okay, so I've shifted her underwater no. mass balance. I still feel like we need to, uh, cut some mass or cut some weight out somewhere. Oh, yeah. How thick is her ter Oh, no. We'll, we'll decide where to cut weight on Leviathan in the future. But, uh, yeah, she's definitely way too low in the water right now. I love how, even with her propellers off, somehow Lance Head is moving at... accelerating at stupid rates. be fair, the seas right now are kind of rough. No, accelerating. Like, flying out of the water well, types of accelerating. Maybe the red armor below the water line? Yeah, maybe. It's like, anything we reduce, though, just reduces the mass more in the front than it does in the back, for whatever reason. I mean, we'll get a little more on the conning tower. That's not gonna help matters. I guess it is having the two aft turrets. Isn't exactly helping us. Okay, so here's what. If we can't solve uh, Leviathan's uh, issues with uh, mass issues, what I might do is I might take her uh, bottom and just lower it down by like a meter. All right. And see if uh, just doing that helps. 
Although that would probably mess things up on the inside, especially with the torpedo defense, so probably not. Probably not worth it. Lance head is unarmed right now, but okay. pretty much done in regards okay. to this. So. I'm going to install a couple simple weapons, but yeah, if she gets into a battle, she's very dead. I'm looking at where enemy salvage is on the map. There's some capture and progresses in various spots. Uh, she can hold 300k right now. Materials. So, she's a fleet collier, I guess. Okay. I'm going to put her up to speed trials, and yeah. Okay. Um, I still need the casemate mount. Yeah, just real quick, I'm gonna... Can you give me a really uh. rough outline? Like, I guess... This... Um... Okay, just... All I want is for you to build some sort of, uh... Casemate Yeah, gun. but the casemate can't be made without knowing the, the size restrictions. We can build around the casement. That's what I want to do. I feel the casement should be built for the space, not be, not to define the space, because there are other things that need to be, that need to go there. I I, I think th I think we should build the casement to define the space. That's what I want to be doing right now. Um. I mean, we what can define the height pretty Lance easily. Alright, what's the height? Um, you can see what the height is. Ah, as, as the cargo ship's looking fine. What, two meters? Yeah, two meters. Two meters um, but you can go down to that deck below, so. <clears throat> I will go down to that Maybe deck the below. Case mit we could use the casemate simple weapons, but he doesn't want to. How much elevation do they have? And we also have the more simple weapons mod, so... Yeah. Any casemates here? Okay, so we have... Looking at the more simple weapon mod, if we wanted to use the casemates from that, we, there is a... Uh, you do? Yeah, these have much better max and minimum elevation than we were getting out of uh, trying to build our own. These have like a max elevation of 15 and a min elevation of 10. We were getting 9. Yeah, but that's with sideways mantlets. Yeah. But we're going to be so space confined anyways, we might as well just use um, some of the in-game case mitts that supplies us. Okay. I'm gonna use an AA mantlet for the casement gun. It's gonna look awkward. 30 degree elevation for this casement. Where is it? Oh, okay, on the bow. Yeah, I'm just building out on the bow. Oh, actually, okay, yeah, that's not bad then. If we can build that, it's technically you have. Okay, you, in terms of. Okay, so you'd have two blocks to deal with here. You have two blocks, then you have a deck above it, and then you have a deck below it, and then you got another like two, two blocks for the lower deck. I just want to take a quick look at the rest of these casements. We need a small. Never mind. I'm. Yeah, we need a small shell thing. Did 
think that there's any here. So, because I don't have to actually fit this within a barbette, I can actually f stick it astern a little bit. And our last case mate would be this. Okay, so type L is max elevation 30 degrees, minimum 20 degrees. Uh, so this can... Okay, so for these other ones, how high do they go? In the more simple weapons mod. That one's 25... 25... And then 15. Okay, so okay. just so we can make this casemate look prettier, let me grab something here. Yes, beautify as much as you want, please do. What's okay. the length? What's the barrel length of the uh of the one twenty millimeter guns? Because that's it's supposed to be the same guy kind of guns, just given actual loading mechanisms. Uh. Okay, is there any... Gotta be a singular block here somewhere, right? I'm going with 20 millimeter protective mount. That has a three meter long barrel. Good. Let me just do this. So, should we have a large caliber? 120. 3,000 divided by. Whoa, that's 25. So this is a 25 caliber long gun. Maybe go... That. Yeah, go for... 33 calibers long. Four, four, so roughly 35 caliber long gun. Okay, that's a little better. I think that's acceptable. I think, honestly, she needs like 8 inch or 6 inch -ish secondaries. Yeah, what caliber are these? These are 120. Okay, these are four sevens. Probably bring them up to uh, six inches if you can. 152. All right, sweet. Okay. 152. You might be able to get away with this um, if you put the gauge increasers. Um, up towards or up on the top section. Hmm. There you go. Done. Okay. Want to build a shelf for or for it? See how One, it works. Five, two times. Uh, I'm gonna go forty-five calibers. That's a six-meter-long barrel. Okay. So I'm going to go heavy barrel and. 3 meter, and then barrel 3 meter. So, a 6 inch casement gun. Yep. Alright. I should actually work. want to give it... What color... No, 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 I don't want the... Oh, this is alloy. Never mind. 
Yeah, I forgot that's uh yeah, you were doing that. Yeah, it was beautifying cool these. It's still metal, but it's an alloy texture on it. Okay, what did I... Up, down, scaling, point. Actually, no, 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 I'll just... Up, down, scaling, point. Oh, I see what you're doing. Maybe up, down, scale it a little more. Okay. No good adjustments. Just let me do my thing real quick. Okay. I have a vague idea what I'm doing. Okay, cool. I think. And once you get it done, I'll uh, copy and paste it to all the locations ah. and start building around it. Well, actually, while you're doing that, I should probably work on a sighting hood for the turrets. Yeah, that... That's a lot of that's a few changes to make, but all right. Um. Finish scrapping your uh, cruisers. One was preserved as a museum. Nice. Always nice when you get a ship preserved as a museum. Okay, I've now I accidentally. Uh, I don't know what I've managed to do, but I accidentally got rid of my mouse on screen. Oof. I usually uh, try and cheat to get my ships preserved as a museum. Yeah, my mouse in From the Depths is completely vanished now because I accidentally pressed a weird key combination that brought up something with NVIDIA and a debugging screen at the same time. I don't know what's happened there. Something, Something has happened. And uh, apparently I also have to give someone the content creator tag in the Rule of Waves 2 Discord. I can do that real quickly. Because he started making videos. There we go. Alright. Uh, what did I want to look up? Uh, battleship turret. That will work. We could also put um, rangefinders on top of the battleship turrets too. Good. Good. Yeah. Uh, you are. Ooh, well, you are. Ooh, 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 Okay, where is it? Which we want? Oh, hey, we have all these weapons, too. Okay, somehow I can still navigate this. Barely. Okay. Navigate what? The screen without having a mouse cursor. The build menu. Okay. I would not be surprised if this requires a restart of the game. Honestly, though. I'm probably going to have to do that here. Okay, I think a 9 meter armored rangefinder is a little too big. I could go with it. And the rangefinders will help out with the AI, so. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to start restart the game at this point. This is unplayable. Alright, give me a second to Why are you colored oddly? Yeah, give me a moment to um just exist, I guess, because I'm trying to make to look right. Okay, I gotta wait. Mirror. Because I, again, do not 
I cannot currently see a mouse cursor for any of the many vital functions like saving and uh, putting blocks down. Well, not putting blocks down, but selecting blocks. Alright, go. Okay. Computer restart? Uh, just game restart. Okay. Boot it back up. And uh, we'll go again soon. Okay, that seems to have fixed the issue. Literally, I think something with NVIDIA caused it. <sighs> this stream should just be titled, like, Technical Problems or something. Yeah. At this point. Because it's just so many of them. I get these weird errors because of a mod. It's like, what, the second, third major technical problem we've had? Yeah. Alright, game's hosted. Play. So I just did there was really stupid. Okay. Hey, you're in. Cool. Save should be loaded. Okay. And we're back. Oh, look at that. That's neat. Yeah, weird stuff going on with the gun turrets. Ah, me controlling the... one of the guns. It's actually pretty neat. Okay. I'm having a weird issue with the end. So yeah, this is a... This is, um, casemate. Just so you know, this is actually the distance it's supposed to be placed against. Placed at, around the, 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 the. Okay. This wooden, this wooden stack represents the hull. Just to, okay. to, to explain that. Yeah. So... This is what it should probably look like, and or I'm going to test it. Okay, there we go. Now let me get some mimics. I honestly don't know exactly what to mimic on to the mantlet because, well, to be fair, most of it's probably only going to look like uh, this. Oh, fuck you. Uh, probably gonna look a little bit like this for the. Yeah. I mean, you could mimic a little bit more with the gun, but that's about it. It's all I can think of. I can make the gun look like it has a texture. Yeah. Alloy pole. Three meters. Color. 20. Delete decoration. 
add a decoration. Okay, copy. I'm having like continuously check the bottom of my mouse too because it's just it's running a little weirdly for me. I think a little bit of it's uh all of it's being weird. I don't know. Anyway, I got a uh I got the what is this thing? The uh a rangefinder on the gun turret now. And I'll just copy and base the top of this gun turret to the other ones. Two to uh, fix them all. The only really thing I have to add is the wireless receiver. Um, okay. Besides that, uh, I need to quickly check AI. I assume there's no wheel detection component I would want on top. No. So I want to look up uh, sighting hoods then. Because I think that would. Look I'll let good. you figure that out. Cause I don't know what all that is. What you're doing. Add a decoration cone. Uh, Shoe is black. Battleship turret sighting hood. Okay, I should not have typed sighting hood because of the word hood. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was a mistake. Of what caliber? 16 inch or 12 inch? Uh, anyway. 15 inch. It's a 15 inch caliber mistake. <laughs> All right, let me just. All right, let's just put some decal or detail on top. And I'll probably use mimic alloys or something. With uh, decorations. Isn't this a, Brit is a British battle cruiser? Right. What am I thinking about? This is not a British battle cruiser. This is a very not British battle cruiser. It has armor. Huh. Well, loot waffles is like I can clearly type at two in the morning. Yeah, building a ship at 3 a.m. is very fun. Or 6 a.m. No, no, it is most definitely not 6 a.m. It's 3 a.m. Left right scaling, let's do 255, 26, and 275 because that's actually what's going on. Actually, this isn't working for a good-looking sighting hood. Um, there might be some modifications I make with it. But you know what? And then we can put uh, something on top of it. I wish we had like a cone shape or something. 
That would be nice, but we don't. I didn't figure out a close enough shape. There's gotta be something. Oh, hey, a mantlet. Yeah, let's let's do this. Add new decoration. Uh, mantlet. Chad built his own mantlet with a copious amount of um, various people involved. Okay, that's what I want. Bitch. Blackjack and hookers. How's that for a siding hood? One second, please. I'll put a couple. Oh, I like that. In over there. And I might remove that center one now. Little hat. <laughs> <laughs> It needs a tiny little Santa hat now. I don't care if it's not Christmas. It It's Christmas in spirit. By the way, the casement's done. It has its own custom uh, stuff. Okay. I think that's what we'll use for the top of the turrets. Oh, cool. That works. Um, we can give it a little bit of a stern. We can give it a little bit more cooling, which I need to actually just give this gun proper. No, I'm gonna stuffing. modify this. I think this is too high up. One, five, two. One, five, two. It's six point five modules, so six, seven modules. Due to how ammo controllers stuff works. So, yeah, no, that's how, this is how that works. Add there we go, that looks better. Body. Four, one, five, two. And what I can do is I can take this, the top of this turret. Prefab it. And then take this prefab and put it on all the other turrets. Although I do have to make sure that I get the uh, AI. I believe goes here. There we go. APS. Access intakes. HE head. Side all intakes. Okay, make sure that the aft turrets can rotate. As they should be able to rotate, I imagine, right? What? Containing no shells. Of course it's not. Oh, why, why are the turrets not rotating again? Oh, there, there, there they are. It's just we can't access the bottom from being up top. I'll just copy the whole turret. Because our turrets are of slightly different heights. No. It's actually two specific heights. Okay, yeah. But yeah, just copy the top bits anyways, because that's just more economical, really. Yeah. I'm going to move competitor out of the way for being halfway inside Leviathan because that's a really big annoying box and I don't want to spawn competitor by accident. Okay. That's fair. Alright, now let me uh, add in the. But yeah, actual here's the case of gun. 
Awesome. I'll put it in shortly. I just need to do one thing here. Six iron casement, six inch casement. It's already set for everything, just make sure that it has proper stops. Oh, ironclad, look at you. I'm I'm going to take a look at you. I like this little boat, this little ship. Merrimack. Look at it. Oh, I like it. Okay, so I delete this piece, and then just place this down right here. And just do that for each of these turrets, and we're, it's fixed. I hate it when it does that, when it's like, oh hey, I'm very clearly selecting this turret to put a block on oh you wanna you know you wanna select the rudder not this turret no that's why why would you even suggest a thing so is that ship also going to be converted into a cargo sh vessel uh, I don't, I don't know. It has definitely the hull form to do it, probably. Uh, capture nine clad, might as well name it Merrimack to Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, this capture was really interesting because its AI got killed, but I was very close to it, and I'm just like, well, I, was, I, I was actually going to capture it to take its AI, but it got killed, or its AI got killed, and then I just stepped on board, and then it's like, oh hey, we have it. Um, new folder. Has a lot of internal space, so it could totally be used for a um a steamer or a tramp. Words, I don't speak them yet. I speak them actually really terribly, <laughs> quite terribly. Uh, it could be useful as a little cargo ship, but right now I'm gonna keep it to hmm. just lance head. More accurately, steam boogaloo. Okay. Moving her from the bow of the ship and starting to place, starting to place in several casements. Okay, so you have to place them behind the armor, but with enough space to rotate. a potential issue here, but let's just... Wait, she's no longer down by the bow, by the stern. Is she? She's, she still is. It's just the weather is making her look like she's not... Okay, you know what? With the casemates, I think I can get away with elevating oh, them. Oh, the siding hoods on Y turret. To have a degree of realism, should Y turret's guns be restricted in firing arc over the over Y X turret's guns be restricted over Y turret? Um, I, I'd say we can have him fire over Y turret. Okay, so putting this in is going to be a little awkward. I think we can make it work. All right, you know, what? here's how we make it work. We delete this. That gets removed. This gets removed. Just take a Leviathan hull and convert it into a carrier. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, we'll probably make a good carrier hull, to be honest. I mean, yeah, we could. We're gonna build a bunch of them, apparently. We have more than enough resources for it. No. We just don't have planes.
Okay, so if I install a casemate here, we gotta make sure it can maneuver past this turret, which would probably be imagining here. That's probably the first set of casemates. Okay. You worry about placing them, I'll worry about setting them up. Okay. I think the second one... Ah, this should be enough space to be able to rotate. Although that would prevent us from walking past that turret particularly well. Hmm. This might be the next spot I could go in. Okay, this case mate set number two. Should be the best protected carrier. I'm thinking case mate number three could go there. So case mate four here. Uh, this to because I feel like I set these up in, in poor location for the casemate mounts oh somebody captured one of our squares onyx watch got their square back with a bulwark and a trebuchet that's a lot of materials I'd probably get us another one of these ships. We definitely need another Leviathan. <laughs> oh, this wait, the carrier need this dimension protection to have to be named Enterprise just for luck. Just for good luck. And then I think money, 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 money. Actually, money, you know what? I'm take this casement and move it here. I'll put it there. This is a bit haphazard, but that uh, I don't care.
Okay. Prefab mode. I'll fill these back in with alloy. Well, not alloy. Oh, do you want them? Wood. Do you want them to be wood or plated? Okay. I think it'll look better with wood. Although, I'll leave the two right around the turret as alloy. Like so. Okay, so that's the forward set of casemates. We'll have to get an aft set in too. Okay. No, I need. I'm toned on the shininess as much as possible. The ship is like literally glowing for me. Which is not good. I, d I don't like that she's glowing. It makes it very difficult to see anything. Okay, let me get a rough yeah. idea of the shape here. This. This heaven looks at the deck of Leviathan. Did these... Did they bring me on the socket? Oh god, they didn't get constraints. Oh lord. Right, get ready to have... to replace some of the secondary battery guns. Okay. Oh, wow, the Onyx Watch is another 9,000... or 900,000... materials up there. Actually, like, over 900,000, like 950,000 materials in those two ships. Over 9,000. Seriously? Yeah. That's, um... That's just their cost. Like, their actual material value. The actual amount of materials they have on board is even more. Is the Leviathan still down by the stern? Only slightly now. These are relatively calmer waves. But she is still lower on the stern than she should be. So, yeah, we've got to figure out a way to lighten the stern. My question is, what the hell is back here that's using up so much weight? The Did the propellers just weigh that much or something? No. It's got to be just the lack of reserve buoyancy. That's got to be it. Yeah, there's nothing... There's nothing very buoyant back there. It's the bow is very buoyant, because yeah. there's actually bow to be buoyant there. I'm going to remove this set of slopes. And just... Replace them for air. Actually, I'll replace this with a helium pump. No available volume. What? How is it a duplicated pump? Oh, that's how. No, it's not a duplicate pump. That didn't fix anything. Those are both helium pumps now. 
Oh yeah, we also have that rudder room, which is just entirely underwater. That might be not helping out matters. And the aft ammo room, is that even protected by the belt? Yeah, it is a little bit. I don't know how. Oh, I see. Room. I see what's going on. What? The, uh... For the aft turret, we put in those wings to kind of support it. And we might have stretched them a little too far. So we have a big area of space which just isn't worth protecting. Okay. With some additional heavy armor on it, so... It's probably good to get rid of it. Am I... Okay, I'm on uh, mirror mode. Cool. Well, that's... A little weird, I guess, but okay. Is that brought our... Is that brought our stern out of the water? Not much. Okay, so this is... The part below the turret, but it's not protecting any ammunition or anything. I might just mo convert that into metal, or even alloy, again. It's protected from the top. Technically, the aft turret's not protected. The aft turret's not protected by torpedo defense. But, you know, at this point, who cares? but any little bit helps. Yep. We're trying to do... Okay, so now... That should help a little more. Still, She's still down by the stern, but not as badly as... Uh, she is still quick, can we re stern. Can we reload uh, Leviathan? Say vehicle, and then... What do you mean by reload her? Just just pull her out of play and put her back into play. Yeah. Receiving. Okay, cool. I'm doing it. Receiving. I'm gonna pull our other ships out of play too. Just to make sure. Hmm. Our guns seem reluctant to return to their idle positions. I'm seeing them in their idle positions, so... There you go. That's good. Okay, so this room does need to be this. The heavy armor on this room is very, very, very justified. That got replaced already. That's TDS. Those are the engines. Where does... Where does the heavy armor end? You know what? I'm going to reduce some of the heavy armor on the uh, stern to uh, metal, in which includes part of the belt and part of the turtle back. Because I don't... Because the thing with the stern is that... Um, oh, what am I trying to say? Uh, this isn't actually protecting any of the turrets. The only thing this is protecting is the uh, propellers. And... Okay. Until it does start protecting a turret, which it does start right there. But you know what? Um, that back. Remove you, remove you, remove you. 
you remove you. So I guess this is kind of becoming more of a belt extended area. Has that helped at all? Not much. Okay, so that's all protecting the turret, but... To move that set of heavy armor. Now, is that helping at all? Maybe a little bit again. Okay, so that should be that all set up properly. Guess this all is ammo room, yes. So when the weather gets calm again, hopefully she's not down by the stern as much. That should have solved some of her some of her issues, not all of them. Okay. I don't really know where those enemies are. Oh that's where the enemies are. Any other enemies we see around? No. Yeah, there's the Bulwark and Trebuchet. I don't think we have either of those. Alright, there we go, Leviathan's uh, secondaries are back in place, that's excellent. This is in the ship in the Russian 2nd Pacific Squadron. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, sorry. There's a it... specific oh, reason I did that. Why? So the guns can actually elevate. Oh, okay. So they couldn't elevate otherwise. They clipped. Okay, I did not realize that. I do things for reasons. I might, for uh... Reasons. I might get clever with, uh... Decorations there, then. I mean, I need to get some food. I'm very hungry. I only got the bacon cheese stick when I should have grabbed, like, a sausage or something. Um, I might try to get the apt set of casemates in. Although, you have those casemates set up very specifically, so... Let me copy one of them. Okay, cool. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna remove a lot of deck back here.
Christ. Now it is... Aft deck case mitt time. If you want to know what I'm doing, you may not. You do not have permissions to know. Basically, a casement that's exposed on most sides. So it doesn't work. Actually, yeah, this isn't firing off. Step up to a three. Okay, you're gonna have to adjust all of the idle and firing angles on these back ones because they're not well placed. I have uh, standard and reversed, so. Just tell me where you want them put, and I'll put them down. Uh... Just on the, on the stern, you can see me putting the casemates in the uh, correct locations here. Where they're gonna wind up going. There we go, that's every casemate location, just... Those aft ones need to be fixed up a bit. Alright, I'm gonna go get food. Let me, uh, Let's get see. a good screen here to watch as he continues to build... as uh, Beef continues to build the ship. So, yep. Uh, be right back. That's a, that number is so far, actually, hold up, can you even hear me? I love waffles, can you hear me? So if not, then it's not really worth speaking at the moment. Alright, sweet. So basically, right now, the ship has, or, she has, yeah, 10, 10 13-inch guns, and, is it 16? It's 18, actually. Uh, 
six inch guns. Oh, this entire deck is at the wrong level. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay. So this is called spamming. Uh, control Z. It's pretty likely that she's going to receive more guns in the future. As we still have anti-air armament and a degree, potentially, of torpedoes to install. Because you can never really go wrong with that. Dual purpose seven shirts. My concern with that is Q and L turret. It's Q and L, the uh, two midship turrets, which are going to make dual purpose rather difficult to maintain. Oh lord! I completely messed this up. I could see the I could see some dual purpose guns being installed. Though at this rate she's probably gonna receive missiles for anti air work, as those were what absolutely mauled that flying squirrel earlier. Or were probably what mauled the flying squirrel earlier. Here we go, let's just ship the top of the Yeah. Most of the Oh Lord. I split my screen down the center to accommodate the Twitch stuff and it is you know from the depth it's not easy to, to play at half resolution basically a phone screen resolution yeah they can't be placed in the firing arcs, arcs of the midship turrets because they would incur blast effects I know that's not actually modeled in game but Screw you, I'm modeling it. <laughs> I mean, design... Yeah, it's being designed... Yeah. Blast effects for the main for the main battery guns. Want to avoid that.
One has to love how insanely short the nights are on Netter. How did life develop with such a short period of nightfall? How did this planet form with such a short period of nighttime? All right, I am back now. And, uh... I've got chili. I want some chili. Can you give me some? No. No chili Aww. for you. Aww. Okay. And I've been such a good boy. Guys, I'm gonna mess with the uh, structure back here a little bit, but I think the case mitts are. You miss food? How do you miss food? Like, don't you just have to regularly eat food or something? To, you know, live? Wait, you eat? Nerd. Roboman person? <laughs> oh, okay. Doing that, then I'm going to cut out this part okay. of the... Yeah, we're gonna extend, we're gonna stretch this a little further back. Oh. Oh, that would suck, yeah. Oh. Hmm? We doing this? Yeah. Just something to let the gun give the casemate some. Yes, we are doing that. Okay. You know what? Let's do oh, that. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. I remember having braces, um, a few months ago. Not pleasant. Get them off about five weeks, awesome. Alright, so there's the forward casemit battery pretty much decided. Now we have the aft casemit battery. Probably start to get to work on the forward superstructure here relatively soon. All right, let's look at the map. Onyx Watch and move two more ships in a uh, Claymore and a Winter's Day. Interesting. You want to go up there and have another fight? Um, perhaps, give me a minute, to give these guns a good And she's not, this ship's not gonna handle well in rough seas. <laughs> Theoretically, she should handle. I do think I removed enough heavy armor from the stern to, uh, let's get her sta relatively stable in a calm seas. Yeah, she's lower in the water line than I want, but she's not down by the stern by that much in calm seas anymore. A couple of blocks still. Not great, not terrible. Unacceptable. Hold up! Which what? props aren't even doing anything. Or are barely doing anything. Hmm. So, you know. Gain 1-5. 
Alright, so... I'll get the tops of the casemates sorted out here. Real quickly. Three forty AM. Yep, it's three forty AM for me too. So how's the angle now? Zero. Good. She still sits a full meter in the water lower than intended. Or than designed. Yeah. Oh well. So we're gonna have to repaint, I guess. Probably. That's doable though. I actually want the two meter alloy wood slopes. Oh lord. How many... That's an interesting... Okay. This is going to suck, but I can do it, so... I will have to do it. Uh... I will do this, but I will complain. Off, placing down. Oh, Please yeah. do not remove these. Please do not remove these um, alloy blocks. Oh, over there on the stern. Okay, yeah, I won't. I'm working on the bow set right now. Moving a chunk of your cheap. Oh no, that's 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 horrible. Chunk of missing gum. That's not fun. Thank you for the new lifelong fear. Okay, there we go. Alright, now I need a uh, four meter alloy wood slopes. Places like here. And I don't think I need any more there. I need three meter now. I am glad to have this piece set. Okay, there you go. That's all that worked out. Uh, I accidentally removed two casements. Uh... Do you know their good lo or their best location? Well, I accidentally removed two of them. So. Okay, they were but just seems... they were in line with the other two, I believe. So. Right in the center. Yeah, right there. Just right. Other two should probably have their idle angles reversed. The the two kind of over here-ish should probably have their idle angles reversed. What? The two uh, second from the front should have their idle angles reversed. They should be facing forward rather than backward. These two right here. Oh, those. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's just... I've literally just placed down the turrets. Okay. My spot that's one sixties after it. Oof. I... I oh, God. Yeah. I'm not enjoying hearing that either. How many days have you been working on this? This is uh, day number three of building this ship. 
This is the second time we've thought she's gonna launch at the end of the stream. Yep. And probably the second time we've been wrong. We're getting close. I mean, it's probably the second time we've been wrong, but it's not definitely the second time we've been wrong. If we accept a little bit of additional ugliness, she could probably still launch today. We can get. I think we could get her up to basic functionality today. Nice board didn't touch her. Yeah. You ward. <laughs> oh God. The moment Vior touches the ship is the moment uh, Vior is breaking apart. Broken apart. These are really close together. These two casemates here. At the bow. Not at the bow. At the CERN? Right here. Yeah, they are. You might want to move them one block out. Of... Well, actually, I think they're fine as is. I'm just mess with the hull shape back there a bit. Honestly, I feel like they'd be better served. It'd be better served if we removed them and installed an anti-air emplacement there. Okay, we could do that. Move those two. Only get three on, or six on the stern, and then um, ten on the bow. Yeah, because that's still sixteen main battery guns. So uh, sixteen casemates, ten main battery guns. You, you, uh, yeah, you're right. But also, I'm gonna meme and say, yeah, you heard me. Didn't ya? <laughs> you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> the six-inch guns are definitely the main battery, not the, not the, not the puny, guns. not the puny thirteen-inch guns. No. Yeah, no, those aren't those aren't really powerful. Casements are probably the most infuriating weapon to deal with, and honestly, the. You know, I'd see the entire game. Just building them? Yes! Makes you crave death. Anyway. Our, uh, forward platform is built up so we can finally start working on the superstructure and funnels. That's gonna be one compact superstructure because of where that, uh, Good old conning tower is. And how close to the funnel it's going to be. I might just do a circular funnel behind the conning tower and then have a more um, oval funnel on the stern. I'd say have an oval funnel ahead and a circle funnel astern. I don't think we have room. I think we need the circle funnel ahead, oval funnel astern, just because of we have more room astern than we do ahead. Especially when we're considering that we're going to have to add a bridge and such. And we look where the conning tower is. That there. I was thinking that ball work was a little close for a second, but no, it's just the angle is that they moved another ship down there, another mandrill. Onyx Watch is getting pissed at us, but you know, Leviathan's getting closer. That's why they're angry. It's a uh, one of those. It's like one of those um bosses. In a game where they're throughout the game, they uh, increase in strength. We're the boss. <laughs> we are the end game boss of nature. Yep. I mean, to be fair, we could probably just uh, 
beat the campaign using our miniguns alone. You know what? That yes. should be a challenge. Future right. oh, future co-op campaign idea. We can't build any ships with weapons. That... <laughs> My god. And it has to be, like, really hard start. Yeah. So, whatever ships we do build, they can't be armed. And they're probably not even gonna be good. Noob sticks galore. Yes. Rain of the noob stick. All hail! All hail! Imagine trying to take down the final boss using two ram bots with miniguns. <laughs> Which final boss? Because, um. A Scarlet Dawn. Oh, they're the final boss? Yeah. I actually didn't know that. I wasn't even aware that XD had a final boss. Yeah, it does. Um, I think it, the, their literal ship, the Scarlet Dawn, is typically considered the final boss. Although technically you can take it in, or, in any order you want, but... Her bow, or bow, her deck is finally complete. Completed. Main deck. Now to actually make the rest of the ship look good. Oh boy, time to suffer! Okay. Time There's gonna have to be a small amount of just getting her various decks to look good. Oh yeah, one issue is um her casemate deck and uh, main deck are actually separated out by I think a single mm -hmm. block or is it two blocks I don't know but something where we're gonna have to have a stair or a slight uh, stair downwards yep it's it's a bit cancerous yeah but doable but, it could be a lot yeah. worse yeah that's why I pretty much always build my ships in multiples of three blocks of interior space. And I do have to subdivide uh, some of this a little better. So, how do you want to do the little bow bit? Oh, not... oh my god! The front of the aft superstructure. How do you want to do that? I respond by um, the to drink. Oh, I'm thirsty. Well, I'll, I'll do it myself. Um, just... Should be easy enough to uh, just work that out. Okay, so then this is all one room. I'm fine with this being one room. It's a big room, but it is a room. That's a room. That's a room. Very big room. The room. No. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. Hi. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hey, Lisa. I did not. Wait. Wait, what's the... I did not hit her. Yeah. Or something. I did not hit her! I did not! I did not! Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Dang, 70 degrees. 80. Four degrees. Uh, so basically, yeah. Twenty-four plus ninety plus ninety. Seven four plus nine zero equals one six four. This is math. Math is uh, cancerous. Makes me want to die sometimes. Let's give this a 10 degree, whatever, whatever the, that is, yeah, yeah. Coffee? Choist? Thank 
Joker, at least math is cancerous. I am. I'm someone who actually enjoys math, somehow. To be honest, math isn't terrible. It's just you know, the way it's taught is. Ah. Oh, time to take a progress photo. Oh my god, she's beginning to look like a real ship now. Yep. Like a... The best form of math is algebra. Fight me. I have to learn calculus. Oh yeah, that, okay. Calculus is horrible. Cal calculus is horrible. Who, whoever invented calculus hates people. Uh, oh. Isaac Newton? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, never mind, but still, calculus is horrible. I actually agree with algebra being the best kind. Yeah, algebra's good. Geometry is fine. Calculus sucks. Honestly, I learn more math not in school, like outside of school, than I ever did in school. Oh, so by the way, I'm going to put... Yeah, you can't... Okay, so... Slight issue. Um... Yeah... Never mind. Just... Just never mind. Okay. So I will add some decorations to fix the weird heavy armor stuff later on, but... It's probably not even going to happen before she's in battle. I love all the cones just sitting on the deck. Or just casting a shadow on the deck. All the cones? Because that's how I get the... That's how I get the black barrel end. Which oh. I'm very fond of the way that oh, these see, barrels yeah. look. Oh, yeah, I, I'm very fond of the way these barrels, these barrels look school. with my... Uh, with the texture pack that I have installed. Okay. Yeah, you're going to hate... Look really good. Yeah. Uh, Luf Waffles, you are going to hate calculus. When you get to it. Oh, yeah. Enjoy, enjoy high school while it lasts. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, life without it sucks even worse, so. Are you really not? Okay, good. You're just saying you aren't loaded because apparently none of the guns let's load shells I mean honors calculus oh hey that was what I was trying to take and then gave up on because it was too difficult so okay the inner two. Pre calc also kind of sucks too. Math is fun until logarithms become a thing. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Roughly 140. So the main battery, ABA. A, X, and Y are all going to have a standard arc rest restriction of um of what? 140, of 140 degrees to either side. So 280 degrees. Okay. This is going to have something special, which is Alright, so the casemate decks are done. Okay, I 
guess these aren't counting as pumps because of weirdness. Each casemate deck is done. Nice. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, I'm happy. Alright, now I need to restrict the firing arcs of the amidships guns. This may go either horridly wrong or marginally terribly wrong. Either way, it's going to suck. I'm guessing marginal. Uh, my family has high school diplomas, if I recall correctly. So. I mean, I got one. This here's got one. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to think about this. So I want my anti-aircraft platform to be about here. According to Barefoot, it's not his favorite camo. Leviathans. Who's? Um, on the from the Depths Discord. Oh. Which is the hell did you post it? I'll show off. It was a little odd. And though she looks better for you, I think, because for me, she looks so bright right now. I will not stop pestering you about the, um, thing until you do it. About wow, 3 k textures. Okay, I'm... Do you mind if I just tone down color three and then see what she looks like? It's a little darker with that. Yeah, I don't care. Of the main paint. I'm currently doing it's some. Like this. Good. That looks so, better for me. Take a look at this. Yeah. Oh, Your nice. Battery only... guns don't fire at the superstructure. Awesome. Basically, they don't. Is... The center Q and L don't fire until they're at least twenty degrees off of the off the axis. Okay, yeah, that works. And they can pair up like this. That's nice. Leviathan is looking like she's actually gonna work here. Alright, so Let's add in a roof for this. Conning Tower roof armor. And then we'll have to have Conning Tower window armor here in a moment. God, I can't get over how nice these main battery charts look. Oh, Deepwater Top Guard took that one pink. square with a Vanguard. Oh, the Deepwater Guard are pulling in a Warden. Two. Another 100,000 materials. And I don't know what they're right, doing wanna... with that Winter's Day. Oh, they're moving in to capture that square, okay. Okay, so I'm going to take the That's Cobra. Pink That's not actually, attached. a Vanguard. Okay, what's a Vanguard? To the Mickey! What are you doing with that? What are you doing with it? Things. 
You may never know. Good the case Page yeah, does not Page's exist. Done a great oh, job no. on those. Vanguard, it's an easy design though. So, yeah, I'm just gonna send um, the mm. cobras over to okay. Deal with smack it. this little vanguard down. I'm gonna real quick tell Cotton not to store Max, just so she has enough storage to supply both. Okay. So there's the conning tower uh, kind of worked out. I mean, we'll still have to build her up or build it up, but it's a lot better now. I'll get the I'll get more staircases and levels in it. All right. So the next deck is here. Do you have Lanta? Where's Lancehead? Where is Lancehead? Get you out of here. Lancehead, this. One, keep normal. You are in. Okay, I so now, what? okay, I need stairs. I need stairs. Okay, so I want stair. Actually, no, I probably want stair. Uh. Do stack stare. Alright, I've stuck Lance Head into the force with Cobra. Okay. As an auxiliary ship. I'll do stair there, I'll do stair there, and I'm hoping that I can connect that other stair up somehow. And now, uh, I'm gonna get these ships to assault the Porter Guard. Limited by the speed of. It seems. None of them. Cobra could make max speed. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I can't quite do that yet, but I can I can place that there and fix it. Full blocks for flowing in the conning tower. Or panels. Uh panels are pretty panels. crap, to be honest. Well I'm, well panels for flooring, so yeah. But yeah, uh, Vanguard is an easy design from the Deepwater Guard, so it's, yeah, it's literally dead. something you can just uh, stomp with a minigun. Yeah. But in this instance, I just want to shoot it, shoot it up, because I don't, I don't feel it would really be that necessary to actually no. take it. It's not many resources. A strike right. and a Vanguard plus a Corsair. What's a Corsair? Is it one of their big boys? It seems to be an expert design. Alright, you wanna get in cotton mouth? Uh, in just a moment, let me uh, put another layer on the conning tower there. Alright. A smoker with a Vanguard Corsair strike the smoker. Okay. This is a javelin for backup operations. For backup. I'm not going to spawn it in. Okay. Unless I'm saving the campaign right needed. now. Okay, sweet. Cool. Do you think we really need to have a javelin spawned in, though? Guardian uh, specifically spawned in? Hopefully not. I don't think so. I don't think we do. Okay. I'll be in cotton mouth. Alright, let's start. Alright, so we got... Lancehead's a uh, cargo ship, though. Yeah, she shouldn't be... Mm. She's in. Ah, uh, well. Can't really 
change that now, I guess. Let's keep her out. Keep her out of the fight, and... Uh, so yeah, take out that- I'll take out the Shrike with my missiles. Um, the biggest threat seems to be the Corsair. The Smoker, I think, is- is just a little cargo boat- cargo ship. Okay. But- I mean, the biggest threat's probably the Shrike, but yeah. Wanna begin? Yeah. But missiles will deal with it. You ready to begin? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, I'll just anti-air it. I'm actually going to, I think, refit those. Uh, no, cancel. Don't end the battle. Shrike's going into How the ocean. You... Yep, that's exactly what I expected. Her guns on. Her guns are on. I don't know back. what happened to Cobra, but her bridge got smacked. Lance head is trying to play ball and will not do so. Alright, enemy ship to damage. That looks like it's probably the Vanguard. Yep, there we go. Good fight. Textbook textbook engagement. Pull him out. Shell's oh, too nice long image. for shell racking. Cannot be accepted. Yep, that's an image on Cottonhead's part. Should we upgrade her? Probably. Just... Alright, so I'm going to... Well, let's bring our ships back to port first. Ah, right, we can do it out at sea. And actually want to... Nah, pull, pull it back. Some well, we tents. need the resources, so we need resources to do it, so. Where the hell is Cerberus? Wait, can't we? No, no, we should take this spot. We should take this space. Uh, the tile back. Where the hell is Cerberus? Did we lose her? She might have just up and vanished on us. Moving now. No? Moving Where is she? Now. Do you see her? Yeah, to the left of Guardian. It's embedded in this stack of javelins. Oh. Receiving. Receiving. Also, we have a stack of javelins. <laughs> oh god, we're rich. Now. I forgot. Anyway, Cerberus needs to go back and repair. I'm going to... Hmm. At C, give Lancehead a bit of... use, really. Also, editing her AI and making really everything a lot appear a lot better. Alright. We will start on the bridge. Of, uh, okay. Leviathan. What's this? Actually, no, I think I had it at 0.12, and that's, like, the best way to get it to look. You know what? We'll set to 0.1. I think that'll look a little better. Okay. Okay, honestly, I'm wanting to grab some sugar of some form. It'd be very short, be right back. If I did so. I'm just, I'm trying to think about what... Maybe, okay, you know what? I should put her mast in. That's what I should do. Okay. Um. And I want a thicker mast than a normal pole. So we're only, we're gonna have the mast slightly behind the cat, uh, slightly behind the conning tower. New. 
I'll do like a 1.75 wide mast. Yeah, we could put a couple missiles on Lancehead. I'll say just modify her into the same standard as cotton mounts of the ships are once again Lancehead. Roughly the same. I I'm talking about the uh Oh, oh yeah, we could partnership. Give her some basic anti well shipping capacity without actually requiring a significant a substantial overhaul. You know what? That's what I'm doing. Whoever built this little ship, um, they did good, son. They did good. Right. I'll keep the thicker. You know what? I think the 1.5 meter mass is fine. All the way down. That's a pretty thick mast. What? Oh, we're getting attacked oh, by two more. Uh, two rapiers. Oh, those annoying bastards. Is a cotton mouth rebuilt yet? Of course it means I can't build on... No, cotton mouth isn't rebuilt because I wasn't expecting to have... A fight. You can't build on her? Or can you still build on her? Okay. Okay, so let's get the battle done. Build as Hold much on, as don't you... yet. Yeah. Knight's head literally has no weaponry yet. So how'd you get into From the Depths? Uh, I'd been searching for uh, naval building games for a long time, or like ship building games for a long time, and eventually found out about it when it was like in a really early state. And, uh, you know, just bought it and played it, and Eventually, uh, I mean, my first time, first attempts didn't go too well. Uh, put it down, picked it back up again, and later attempts went a lot better. I guess this is kind of like my third real period of playing the game. My, uh, first time I ever played FTD, or the, no, played was relatively recently. The first time I ever heard of FTD um, was through Lathrix. Okay. I remember la watching Lathrix. Oh, there you go. Only two of our missiles are... Two of our missile pods are... Uh, and four of our missile pods are set up. So. Okay. Oh, we have to deal... Or we have to deal with both of these rapiers. Oh, boy. How oh, fun. Do they have torpedoes? If so, you're screwed. I don't remember. No, I'll go this way. <clears throat> well, we have a much bigger fleet. Yeah. A much bigger fleet. Begin. Uh, protect Lancehead. I'm going to try and handle Here, I'll pull. the rapiers. I'll set Lancehead yeah, to uh, go backwards, and I'll be a little aggressive here, too. Okay. But yeah, please. Okay. If at all possible, protect Lancehead. She has... A few hundred thousand resources on board. Okay, Sorry. yeah, I'll do she it. Has... Let... You want to begin? Let's check. She has 164,000 resources on board. Yes, let's begin. She's the fleet supply ship, so... Yeah. It's actually keeping... I'm considering maybe not... 
I want to start. High angled missiles, it seems. Wait, no, I don't want that. I want K. I'm literally trying to use my minigun to help out against these guys. I'm taking a lot of fire, but I'm not sure I'm taking a lot of damage. Yeah, they seem to be using, like, more than one light missiles. Yeah. Or something. Oh, yeah, no, they're using light missiles. Yeah, I remember those days. I remember when there were uh, APS didn't exist, and you no, know, you, all you had was the. Uh, um, I think missiles were still there, but Custom all you cannons? had, uh, you didn't have the APS. You had uh, the what today are crams. Green cram, with really high fire rate. Is that a torpedo I just took or a missile? Is it under the water line? If so, it's probably a missile. It's on probably the water be. line. Uh, it could be a missile then. Yeah, it might be a missile. Not a very... Literally one block broken. It could actually just be a shell. Now it was a missile and which he... slammed into me. My bridge is ruined. Yeah. Um, honestly, it That's seems like frame. every time Cobra or any of the Viper class enters battle, their bridge gets ruined. Yeah. Alright. Not a, not I a had, finish. I think I had a gunshot off finish. there at the end. Yeah, you need to... Yeah. Cottonmouth needs her... Needs a refit now. Yep. Do it. Missiles are being installed, and... Good, there we go. Okay. Alright, getting Leviathan's bridge set up. Right here, I'm trying to think about how I want it self ship from those days. Oh yeah, I have multiple from those days sitting around somewhere. Okay, I'm trying to think about how I want to do the bridge. So we probably want the bridge to extend out like this. Oh, that's 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 what's happening. Landhead is moving really slowly because she's had building work happen to her. Ah. Uh. Okay, so I want decoration prefabs. I'll try. Which one's. Oh, that, that's the lame one. Probably want bridge window 2. Yeah, bridge window 2 is a good one. So now I'm going to install some additional storage on Cobra. Which goes literally as far as just adding some boxes.
Wait. Oh yeah, that wouldn't work, because where those boxes are, so I probably want that. Right, because that's a mimic. Okay. So I probably want that then. There we go, that fixes it. Installing Groobling? I'm starting to install the bridge. Okay. 112 uh, storage for Cobra. Nice. Cottonmouth retrofit to CSV Cobra. Make sure that uh, even make sure that her camo gets restored to whatever it was. All right, we gotta change the I camos did... on these ships too at some point to our newer ones. I so didn't actually new check one. what the camo on Cottonmouth was. Okay, you know what? Just just update them to any of the ones in the new camo pack. That would be All fine. Right. Uh, there's a piece I want to grab somewhere on Cottonmouth, and I forget where it is. It's a very useful piece. You know what? I'm going to use that one, like, really good blue camo that you made. That one, uh... uh there's two really good blue camos that you made. Just... Want to grab one from the new camo pack? The dedicated pack we made? Yeah. I'm just, uh... Scrolling through it. Well, I already have some. Ca I already have one of the camos selected. Oh, that one. A really good one. Do I actually have that component on her? Okay, now that's scaled too awkwardly. There we go. I swear I have the piece I'm looking for somewhere in Cottonmouth or on this class of ship. Maybe I don't. Oh, there it is. That was the piece I was looking for. Receiving. All the Onyx Watch is now seeking reprisal against us. Probably because we kicked their asses so hard. Alright, so now I'm going to save both ships as themselves. Save vehicle as CSV Cobra. Say vehicle as CSV cotton mouth head mouth cotton mouth yeah Save cotton, cotton mouth, mouth, cotton cotton mouth. mouth yeah you keep thinking of copper head which was gonna another yeah. option remember when yeah. diplomacy was a thing oh yeah I remember those days it feels like the game's gotten dumbed down a little bit. To be honest. It was, yeah. Just struggled to balance everything to all enough.
I, I think it was just they were they couldn't balance anything particularly well. And that was why it got dumbed down. I'm hoping that they make it better in the future, but I don't know, I don't have high hopes. Oh boy, I'm getting out of the way of this massive fleet. This massive force coming towards me. Fine with all the mats. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it did... There were some awkward things with the materials, but I disagree that removing all of them like that was the right decision. I think they just needed a little bit of rebalancing. It would have worked. Uh, looking at the chat, um, yeah, I learned, oh my god, I used to watch Lathrix as just, like, just a constant thing. Um, the game, cons the game would consistently baffle me for literally years, and I've only now somewhat figured out the mechanics after playing it for a few thousand hours. It's easy for you. Um, the shipbuilding aspect, um, wasn't super difficult for me to pick up, but all the extra mechanics have been a little difficult for me. I still don't exactly know what, or what, like, the best, uh, what the meta properly is. The meta yeah, is Yeah, I have no I'm idea not... how to do meta. I mean, I know what parts do. Yeah. I just don't know what meta, what the meta is. Uh, we need to make a rangefinder. Oh, no. Uh, I'm gonna pull her out. Okay, I guess I'm gonna return to this battle. Let's play this. All right, Lancehead is the. Let's tell you two to actually keep twenty percent. Anyway, we've got some nice big bridge wings on uh, Leviathan now. Me, I don't understand what meta is. <laughs> That's fair. I don't either. Okay, you know what? No, oh, wait. That's going to be too hard to traverse, so I'm going to put these in there so, to make it a little easier to traverse. Buccaneer. What's the Buccaneer? It is a flying machine. It is a big flying machine. Want to battle? Airship. Hold on, where is it? Well, the ball works leaving to capture another spot, so the Yonix watch is now moving ships away from that other location. What? That's a little lame. All works very expensive. What level is? Oh, it's a godly. Of course it is. Receiving. Want to engage, or should we send something else over? Like, uh... it's too fast. Moving it's now. actually faster than the force because Lance had. Well, okay. I'm gonna see if we can drag in a uh, guardian. Okay, good. And if. 
Yeah, I'm getting Guardian moving. I don't think I can get another one moving in time. I think we'll be good enough with Guardian. Yeah, I feel like Leviathan's not gonna wake today. I'm already getting a little tired. But we're close. We're Four very sleeps, close. But Leviathan wakes. Honestly, the supercharger seems like this, like all that's left, really. Uh, anti-aircraft, secondaries. Do you have AI installed? AI is easy. Uh, secondaries, those can also be installed relatively easily. Okay. Wait, secondaries are already in. We already have secondaries. Okay, tertiaries. Anti yeah, anti-air. You need. Honestly, yeah, we could totally, I mean, cram an hour of building in and get this whole thing done. Okay. I'm going to probably need to, like, grab some candy or something first, but after that, I'd be up for it. My dude likes his sweet stuff. Yep. I cannot... I cannot, uh... say anything about that. I literally get... Okay, so I... Okay, so... <laughs> I work at... Yeah, every time I, uh, get food on my break at work, um... Most of the people at the register know exactly what my order is, and it includes two cookies. So, I can't fault you for liking sweet stuff. Alright, so, I, I... Okay, Guardian is going to be able to deploy. Um, I can get Guardian, uh, Cottonmouth, and all of them very close to each other. Receiving. Uh, I have confidence that Cobra... Is there any good at any point of thing? Probably not. <laughs> What? No confidence about Cobra and Cottonmouth being what? I'm confident that Cottonmouth and Cobra, uh, I guess they're the Cobra subclass for the Vipers. Yeah. Which we can totally build more. They're actually quite competent little ships now that they're... Honestly, Cobra and now Cottonmouth, they're quite competent little ships. Okay. Now that they have proper protection, yeah, you wanna I you wanna get a third more. Yeah, let's get another think, one under construction. Yeah, I think we can build a uh, a couple more. Yeah, two more under construction for now. They're 110 k ish right. to build, and we have but... the sheet, so we can pick one. So we'll probably get Copperhead, so that you stop getting the names confused. <laughs> and uh... Uh... <laughs> the hostile that was. <laughs> <laughs> you, and then maybe you sounded, either... <laughs> you sounded angry yeah. when saying that. <laughs> and uh, we could probably follow it up with uh, either like Ferdy Lance or Mamba or something. Use one of those names instead. Uh, ready to begin? Ferdy Lance. Uh, I think Moccasin would be quite nice. Or Diamondback. Oh, Moccasin. Eh, we could go. We could do Moccasin. All right, but Can yeah, begin? I'm ready. Okay. I am like Spongebob. Always ready, all the time. And angry! I'm facing the island. Be warned, we're facing the island. I turned you around. Not facing I don't that. look turned around. I am turned around. See? I said you were turned around. Did I lie? No, not yet. Oh, you gave her the purple color paint scheme? Look at it! Uh, wait, uh, cop Cottonmouth? Uh, yeah. yeah. Doesn't she look nice? Yeah, she looks okay. Oh god, those are some shells coming in. Those missed. Oh my god, both of them firing at once. It's beautiful. <laughs> I need to watch how much... This is uh, disintegrating copper. It's colored copper. Uh, we have kind of a copperish color. We'll probably use that on her. Oh my god, um... it's already fallen into the water. It's dead. <laughs> All right. Look at yeah, how dead, dead this it's thing dead. is. Oh my God! Watching both, we can I get such it... a sense of pride. I'm, I'm seizing fire. I'm seizing fire. Let's move in. Let's capture. It's gonna die. Are you sure? Without fail, it always dies. Turning off. Let's not ram that ship. God, why is Guardian so fast? Guardian, oh, no. stop! Guardian, stop! Guardian, stop! I'm I'm controlling Guardian now. Okay, I was about to ram Guardian. Uh, I'm turning Guardian in. 
so we can get the capture. I'm fall. I'm falling in. Then I guess. Okay. I can't get over how nice the Cobra class. At this point, it is basically just the Cobra class. Yeah. Yeah, Viper is technically the Poor main Viper. ship, but she also. I can't get over how good the Viper class looks, especially the Cobra subclass, huh. which has no outwards differences, but in inwards is uh, way cooler. Oh man, I'm loving the lambs on this thing. They're just shooting in any every un oncoming projectile. All of them down? Nice. Is she firing APS or crams at us? Uh, looks like APS. Wow. Nice. Yeah, that was a cram shell, and that thing got erased. You see, the handy part about combat is that it acts as a speed trial. halting guardian dead right here and I'm close enough to just be able to hop on I mean we're gonna scrap this because it's a flying vessel God. but yeah this should be an easy relatively easy capture where is her AI I want to target her nice. AI specifically that <laughs> is <laughs> it's firing and the shells are immediately being evaporated by lambs alright so there was it's an AI set, Oops, but I don't think that's the AI itself on the Buccaneer. What's in here? That's a cram. Yeah, we should definitely... Oh, no. Oh, there's the AI. I see it. The game started to do a lot of detection checks for collisions. Getting out of the way. Real quick. Just, uh... Okay. Oh, God. I've been broadsided. She's captured. Good. I just heard those shells and I'm like, oh god, how much damage did you actually take? Like nothing. Literally no damage at all. It's like, a, I see a missing block. Where? Actually, no, that's your... Uh, that's you yourself. I thought it was a missing block, but no, it was the base of Ramjet. Alright, or not Ramjet, Renbot. Alright, pulling the Buccaneer out of play. Actually, let's just scrap it right now. Do we have the material? Yeah, we have the material capability to take it. Yeah. Receiving. Receiving. Landhead is a very nice little boat, little ship. Alright, so we got that square captured again. Cool. Receiving. Receiving. And Cottonmouth and Copperhead. <laughs> Receiving. Alright. If you want to get more constructed, that's fine at base. Um, yeah, I, I want two to be built. Moccasin and Copperhead, I believe. Alright. I will be right back, because I want uh, candy of some sort. Seeing as Copperback, no, there's not. As far as I'm aware. Copperback? No. Right, be right back. Screen up. Uh, he can he can talk the entire time. See if you can. See if you have to entertain him. Oh no, I have to be entertaining. That's uh, I'm not very good at that. Do you have force? Or the force is out of play. You are out of play. You are not out of play. Okay. Anyways, starting fortress. But it's is it in play? Oh, it's in play. How nice. All right, time to build some coppers. Coppers. Time to build the Woo Woo Police! Alright, so... Oh! We have to make the bow ornamentation for... Uh... Leviathan. That's... Interesting. There we go. The base is in place. The base was in place, and now it is flipped around. 
in West Philadelphia, born and raised, but I'm good. You are going to be pointing right here. CSV Copperhead. Is now under construction. And she will now require... A new skin. I don't know what to give her. Um... I'm very surprised that the Viper class has op operated with such, with such distinction, honestly. As... Hello. <clears throat> Alright, I'm back. I am, and uh... I see you pulled... Honestly... Leviathan out of play? Yes, because she was going to... Well... She would have had another collision with something during construction. Okay. The first time being with the starting base. Hmm. Okay, so... I this need is to Copperhead. In... With a, as copper a hull as I could get. I think she looks quite nice in those colors. Yeah, I think she will. So, on that topic... No, completely different topic. Um... Bow ornamentation. Alright, you can... Is it a, <clears throat> a simple, uh... Levy needs that. Yes, and I'm not sure how to do it for her, because this is all angles and such. So what do you think? I don't know. Just try something. Um, tr start with the decoration. Probably. Okay. Lightweight ally block. Up down scaling. So I reduce it to 0. 0.2, that would give us, what, 6? 0.3 would give us 0. 0.4, okay. You know what? You go for a very Japanese ornament and just have a circle. But that's boring. Okay, seriously. I rotated you around. Why did you not rotate for me? There we go. Okay. Go with the ornament of a great white fleet, a shield. Ooh. A shield? You see, the issue anyway. with that is replicating that with decorations. But that is a really good idea. I'm not kind of angry that I that that's that would be really difficult to do. Just because it would be so cool to have it. A 
Okay, what's happening to get? Oh god, what's oh, happening god. to give the game like, like consistent lag spikes? Uh, the construction of a ship, probably. Probably. Um, I hope you noticed that was the bulwark which is blockading Cobra. Uh, that's a, that's a big on. Yeah, that's an Onyx Watch ship. That's a big one. Oh, whoa, why? Oh god. Oh god. Seeking god damn fire. it! I just saved over Viper because of my ever, uh, is the lag spikes. Oh god. Okay. Don't worry. I have a Viper. I have Viper. Wait, the old Viper? The actual blueprint? Yeah, the old Viper blueprint. Uh, I have a backup. I can access the files afterwards. No, like the blueprint in in the game or the file on your computer. File on my computer. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so, the Cobras need to... Let's get Guardian in, into the battle, because, um, well, Moving now. I don't think it's in the cases against 41k. That's 29k. Okay. The only way we're gonna win this is if we board immediately. Uh, can we get Guardian in to play into the battle? Yes, we can. But I think... Okay. We're gonna have to go so for So, Guardian... Boarding. Hopefully Guardian can sustain the damage. I'll get Cobra and the Force out of the way. Um, do you know where the AI are? No, not on a bulwark. Okay, then I'll last as long as possible while you find them, because I'm probably gonna have to take direct control of the... Fo of the Okay, we getting battle setup phase right now. Yes, 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 let's go. Might have to face down the mandrel soon too. Oh, I accidentally brought Leviathan in. Oops. There we go. That's the fleet we're supposed to be facing. Not. No, let's totally bring Leviathan in. <laughs> oh. I mean. Oh, look at this. Look at what, what? Look at the position I've moved. <laughs> oh, I put it on yes, land. Yes. I put it on land. Come on. Do it. Okay. Okay. So it's not on land anymore. But if we begin a battle at the strategic time, we can strand the bulwark on land. Um, Wait. It looks like it's on land for me. It's not on land anymore. Let me get on the island itself. Uh, so we can do this. Honestly, We're gonna capture a bulwark by dr driving it onto the shore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, land bulwark's gonna be the title of the stream. It's probably not gonna be the title of the stream. Well, there was one thing which I was gonna title the last stream, and then I didn't uh, call it that because I, it's just better to name it after the noob sticks. Okay, you know what? Rise and fall of the noob stick. They lasted for one stream. Oh, uh, two. Oh. Eh, no, one. One. Okay, so I can just creep Guardian steadily forward here. Until that ball rock can't move. Okay. Oh my god, this is so stupid, I love it. <laughs> You're a land ship bulwark. Yeah. <laughs> it's correct position. It can't go through the island. It's completely stuck. Oh my god. Um. It should have its propellers out of the water. I, I'm guessing it'll spawn high up. And then Guardian's just right there like, Hello, fucker. <laughs> 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 what are you gonna do now? Okay, for me, not on the map. Off map, it does look like it's still in the water. But it looks like it's barely in the water. I mean, honestly, at that angle, it's likely to slide in, to be honest. Yeah. It really looks like it would slide okay, in. Okay, so I'm gonna try something interesting. We can do... However, uh, it, I mean, to be honest, oh, though it's in water. 
because I'm I'm watching the stream and it's delayed yeah. by like twenty seconds. I'm trying to see if I can move it out of the water, and then I'm gonna try something again to try to properly get it on land. Actually, now I'm kind of interested. What what happened okay. to try to stream to Discord? Be in battle. I may have just stranded it on the island. If the game had open. Okay, I stranded it on alive. the island. It's on the island. <laughs> oh, it's a big battleship. Uh, you might want. I would say you might want to cease fire. Anything's firing. Oh. I'm actually going to enable gunnery, because this thing is hitting us hard. Lance had taking hits. Okay, I'm, ins oh God. I'm inside the bulwark. Get her to run. Getting down to the lower decks, I found a steam engine. With a... Uh, I'm gonna get the steam engine to stop turning here. Lancehead isn't taking hits. Guardian, however, is. How badly damaged is Guardian? 97. 6. 7. Eh. I'm playing the game as a slideshow right now. I found either an AI room or a missile room. I don't know, it's a control room of some sort. It's only not our only AI. That might prevent me from getting further forward in the ship. Yep. Oh, my AA actually did something. I wonder why I was seeing streaks in the sky, and it turns out apparently my anti-air actually eats up through the shell. Found another uh eye room of some sort. Okay. I'll suffer for now. Right, gun function, please. I should probably work more stern. Is there more? No, there's not more over there. Oh, it's a second hit. What has? Lance head has? Lance head. Yeah. Found another AI room? How much? How much is he? She's still shooting. I still hear more shots. Okay, so that's the keel. Fuck. Um. What? I died. All right, enabling gunnery. All right. All right. Most of her AI are down, though. Get me close to that island. I'm gonna disable- Spawn on, co Spawn on Cobra. Yep, I am. I'm gonna turn off gunnery on uh, Guardian. Actually, no, I'm spawned on Copperhead. Copperhead's closer. Copperhead? Or, not Copperhead, Cottonmouth. Oh, damn it, I did it too. Cottonhead. Cottoner mouth. Okay, so the bulwark might have AI back in the stern, but I think a lot of the bow AI is down. She does look to still be firing, but not too many guns are active. Cool. I'd like an FPS, please. Actually, a lot of her guns are active. I don't know what all the AI was for. She might have, like, triple redundant systems or something. Literally just to, to make it hard to sink her. Yeah. I mean, she is uh, kind of no. 
grounded right now. Yeah, please do not run aground. Please don't run aground. Please don't run aground. Please don't run aground. Oh god. Why am I lagging? Your computer is the one actually running all this. Okay, recommendation. Hop onto uh, Cottonmouth and just get her moving backwards. And then get her on AI control again. I think Lancehead's currently being shot at. What is it about Cotton Mouth and, um, going straight towards islands? Oh, I did that this time, intentionally. So I could get close and board. Okay, I see my, I see my entry point. I'm gonna get in the entry point, I'm gonna see what I cost, because I think what happened was I shot through heavy armor and then there was ammo behind it, and it all detonated and killed me. Oh yeah, I see my body. Here. As an access point. All right, so here is where I had gone through. Yep, I did definitely detonate her armor, or ammo. Oh, there's AI on the other side of it. I can't get Lance had to run. Oh my god, no. I would not want to lose this much resources. My question is, how the hell is she still firing with all the AI she's lost? They're probably all running on the same uh, thing, the same receiver, so basically she's really hard to... Why am I about to run into an island? That need right. another Cobra's AI running around. See if any guns have shut off. I can't. I'm literally playing the game at 3 FPS. And Kerber has just run straight aground. Because again, 3 FPS. Alright. I'm now in the stern. Um. Why just... did you plan to run her aground? <sighs> I wasn't planning on running Cobra aground, but I was planning on running her close to the ground. No, no, no. The bulwark? The, the bulwark. The <laughs> entire battle is at. <laughs> a frame rate rapidly approaching an infinitesimally small value. I literally cannot comprehend the sheer smallness of this frame rate. Okay. Might be AI higher in the ship. That's what I'm wondering at this point. Yeah, there's oh, gotta be the way, a higher in the um, ship. Yeah. Cobra needs a reinforced bow. If this is a ram bow, it crumpled. It's towards deck. Okay. I might be able to jump up on the lamb system. Nope, you can't. God, I'm gonna have to shoot a staircase. Or, you know, go here. Go here. Here might be a good, good spot.
I love how you get a relatively smooth, slow game, and I have to, you know, I'm actually just playing a slideshow. I'm stuck. Come on, give me out. Right. Okay, come on. Okay, I'm on her deck now. Maybe order ceasefire. Order ceasefire on all ships. I'm ordering a ceasefire right now. You ever seen someone click, um, click particularly fast through a PowerPoint presentation? I know. Oh, I see. I see where these AI are. Wow. My initial entry point would have actually been around here. I just missed them completely. Still be AI. Wait, no, that's not AI. Never mind. That was something else. Oh, the weapon controller over there. I thought that was AI, but no. That was uh, probably something to do with its lambs. Where the hell is the AI hidden here? Okay, so there's tank there. So we got that turret. Heavy armor there. Heavy armor there, but it doesn't look like it's protected by that heavy armor. I think the worst part is how much AI we've already gotten and how much that's not enough. Okay, so everything's gone silent. Okay, so that was one of her turrets. Here's... Maybe it is up here. Could there, could there have been one up top somewhere? No, I don't think so. Come on. Give up your secrets, Bulwark. A lot of materials we can get if we can get it. But where the hell is this last AI? It's not there, it's not neither of those. Not here, because that's empty. That's a room, that's a room, that's a room, that's a room. So I guess torpedo defense rooms. Or just the Onyx watch, watch being the Onyx watch and having like Stupid yeah. amounts of empty room, empty space. How about behind the main propeller shafts? As you know, that's just up there. Let me get that room. Five FPS, game speed point one. Point one. With about as many physics steps per second. It's, hold on. That is a weird spot of that. Oh, 
Okay, so this is under the deck, right? Lance had beached herself. Upside down. Okay, that's kind of impressive. Okay, so we're on deck. Literally just playing this game in slow motion. I mean, it's still lagging for me, but I'm, you know, at least getting like 25 FPS. Press F4, what's the, um, his accept count? Uh, 24 point... It's varying between like 19 and 24. Physics steps per second. Yeah. Why do different... Why does the client comp do physics separately from the host? That, I don't know. Okay, so this is where I got up. So let's go back down. Check, because there was a weird bit of armor I saw. So that's all heavy armor right there. It seems like it might be a belt rather than. The greater mode is pretty useless. It's not actually doing anything to increase yeah, my okay, frame rate. So not in the eye there. Not one in here. Unless there's one up top somehow. Are you kidding me? I just saw Cram shell flying to the water next to Lance Head. Okay, now Lance I'm head, having some are... issues. You're clocking out, Lance Head. Oh my god, finally, two damage. Finally! The, this hell is ending. Oh, I damaged it too much? Fuck. Dude, I've, I've literally been playing a 5 FPS for the past 10 minutes. I don't care if we don't get to mit resources. Ah, oh, that's lame. I couldn't find that last AI. Where the hell is it? Okay, it's like I found most of the AI, but not whatever one was on deck. How many different AI did you kill? Like, two to four? It's just torturous. He's maybe a little overbuilt. All right, pull everything out of play. Receiving, receiving, receiving. Oh my God, more than a it, frame. A it, which it was it a bulwark? Second. Yeah, which a is bulwark. A very expensive ship. Okay, they're waiting on more fleets so that they can go after us at our main area. So that's what they're doing. They're building up. All right, the rush to complete Leviathan is, is uh, has started. Yep. Lancehead, you are detaching. You, you don't need to be in this force, and you are hindered by it. Yeah. 
cut him up and behind cover. What? Hey. Go here. Where are they building up? Iron Cordon. Oh, fuck. What's a mandrel? It's gonna take them a while to build up over there, though. So if we rush to complete Leviathan right now, we'll probably get her done. And kills your PC when launching. Oh, oh well, at least you can continue work on the Leviathan. Yeah. Did any of you where, know where that last AI was? This the one I couldn't find? The Underworld. Or maybe it's it never like. Existed. Or maybe you have to remove all of not only the mainframes, but the connectors, because they didn't remove all the connectors. But I would think. No, that it's mainframes. Yeah, I would think it would be mainframes. Have to be. Yeah, mainframes. no, it's, it's mainframes. If you have connector. If it's connectors, then. Well, you could just have a ship that had massive uh, survivability by just hiding massive, massive, ludicrous amounts of connectors everywhere. Because they're like 10 a pop, versus the mainframe's 500. But, on that note, Leviathan is going to have multiple mainframes. Yeah. Specifically, uh, probably triple redundant main AI. Yeah, it's just where do we want to put them? Where are you gonna? Uh, good question. Because we can we can stick one mainframe in that one big space we have, and one big amidship space for it, and we don't have much else space for it. Um, unless you're wanting to hide it on uh, one of the higher decks. I mean, still within the citadel. All right, so. We can get a funnel in back here, and I might do that here. Actually, I need to see what uh, the funnels on uh, Cobra and such look like. I'll I'll put I'll put Copperhead in play. Okay, so you just did normal. Slope funnels, cool. Alright, so I'm not gonna get too fancy with Leviathans then. Alright, so Leviathans forward a funnel. You know what? Circular. Yeah? Hold on. You know, it'd be absolutely hilarious. What? Side by side funnels. No, not, not on Leviathan. Why not? I just don't think it it would look right. All right, there's her forward funnel. That leaves plenty of room for a bridge structure. Oh yeah, I've got a lot of room. Actually, I might be able to move it off of the uh, conning tower a bit. Or you know, even lengthen the funnel a little bit, give it a little bit more of an oval shape. Alright, there we go. Uh, levees. 
forward funnel is in place. And I'll just do an aft funnel maybe about the same size. Oh no, actually probably a little larger. I'm going to start putting down um, railings. Okay. Though, how are your railings set up? Are they fully mimics? Or are um, they uh, they're partially mimic, partially decoration. I'll, I'll get my railings on here, because they're pretty easy to set up uh, in the end. Because I, I know how to use them particularly well. I don't think they're super vital right now. Um, if anything, get the turrets and AI set up. That's probably the important functional part. Okay, for the turrets. Although we could work on the bridge structure more. Too. I have to do something fairly boring on the bridge structure here in a moment. Right, conning tower is getting built. Uh, I need a half block. Um, do I have one of those? Okay. And then take this. Put it there. I right, slope one meter. Okay, here's what we do. That. I'm going to repaint her hull, by the way, to fit the new draft. Okay, that's something. That's something useful. Um. Okay, you know what? Okay, seriously, I just... Uh, I see what happened. Okay. Why did this place have multiple pumps in one space? Uh, I didn't realize it was one space. Okay, now I have to go to this guy. Um. Look at that. She's sitting at the water line. Awesome. I did, uh... Now, the deck... Alright, so... Th a whole deck now has helium pumps, or at least down the center line, there may be side rooms that don't. Basically, yeah. It's not the greatest circumstances, but it's also better than the alternative, which is to not have them. And be sitting multiple meters below the waterline, as intended, and, well, have to repaint that. Lovey's conning tower is currently getting painted. Nice. I uh I can set that up now. Set what up? I missed it. The conning tower. Oh yeah. Get all the uh functional stuff in. So 
still can't find your elusive AI. <laughs> I mean, it's not like there's any point to finding it anymore. You know what? Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I want to delete those so I can get a door in on this level somewhere. I've been having center doors, so let's do another center door. Oh, come on. I had mirror toggled on. Uh, I thought I had toggled mirror back on, and I hadn't. It's not me. A microphone. Wait. What is this? These are metal plates. I thought these were alloy plates. Inside? Yeah, no, they're metal. So, that, so there's just a tiny bit more protection. I'm definitely going to have to take the bridge structure and stretch it back, because we have more room than I anticipated there. It would be great to finally see her set a sail. Yep. Because it doesn't seem like it would be... It's actually that far away. That far off. Look at her conning tower now. Why is this, um... Okay, so I'm actually gonna take her, uh, mast and bridge and move them both back. So apparently these metal plates aren't, aren't actually, uh... Are stairs just not- are stairs just, like, straight up not working for you? Or my what? Stairs. Uh, no, they're working fine. Should work, right? Yeah. Let me just check. Hitbox, uh, hitbox feels really funky right now. It's colliding yeah, with those things. worked. Oh yeah, I can see out these windows very well, too. I can't actually walk. Hold up one second. No, They're no. moving a catapult over there. Wait, are they moving towards us? Not yet, no, they're just moving another ship in. Alright, I'm gonna get her... ...somewhat functional then. Uh, trebuchet is no. the scary one of that formation. And Cordon's... And Cordon too. I'm gonna have an end smarty ultimate. Under the keel. Under the keel, yes, indeed. This ship will actually have an AI underwater. Um, external to the ship. The hull. Okay. Don't touch that, please. Is there any difference between using stone and wood for EMP production? Uh, I don't know. I'll be honest. Okay. okay. Taking the bridge and moving it back a couple blocks. If you see me, uh, get rid of a bun- or if you see me, uh, temporary undo- Yeah, okay, I'm do undoing the connection checks. Or reactivating them. And then... 
Complete all untethered. Connection checks are undone again. Unmirror this. All right, that's one AI installed. <clears throat> Wait. Um, I believe it would be possible to install. Uh, Biden's bridge has everything been. Everything needs to. Oh, need, everything needs to get her functional. Yep. In the in. In time, at least. All right, I moved her bridge back, by the way. Um, I'm actually going to mess with her whole uh, bridge wings here in just a moment. Actually, she's connected, Sweet. so I'm going to say it's safe to apply the rules, because I want these. There we go. I want this to fall off. Okay. What I want to do... I want to make our bridge rings a little more triangular. For the British look? Yep. So I think that'll look a little better. Basically, for just, like, alternate history Brita Britain. What? Actually, we're better Britain, because we aren't British. We're not British, therefore we're better. Alright, that's 4AI installed. Awesome. All of them will be identical, except for the fact that they're all going to be different. Okay, add new decoration, uh, alloy plate, there, color three, and then roll to negative 90, and set pitch to zero, and then apply with mirror. Alloy port hole. Yes, I want some of these. Real quick, let me just, uh, run her th <laughs> Well, it won't be accurate to a hundred to a full degree of accuracy, but yeah. I'm going to run speed trials. Okay. So I've got to set the AI. I mean, it should be pretty close to accurate. There we go. Eight. Nine. Um. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Well, she's going backwards right now, so... This wasn't my fault.
There we go. Now we got some speed. 17, 18, 19. Oh my gosh, she's a fast battleship. 22. Okay, so she's bad in reverse, but going forward, she's not bad at all. 22 meters per second. Bad in reverse. Well, yeah. I mean... 23. Oh my god, this is the first time she's ever going get gotten underway. Okay, we need uh, an ability to detect shit. Dude, I, I feel like legitimate pride right now. This is like watching a baby take its first steps. Right, make sure we don't blunder into any enemies in doing so. Okay, you turning her over. I'm gonna turn her around back to our force. Perhaps. Go to AI. Do some turning or, trials. Oh, AI. Yes. Yeah, it should be about. Uh, should be about a kilometer of turning radius. Okay. Hold on a second. Why is Guardian still defending that square? Let's pull her back. Hey, look how many ships we're going to be able to uh, scrap in favor of, you know, building more of them of these. Imagine what it looks like when we're gonna have four leviathans all at the same time. Oh, good lord. Oh, we have a lot It'd of it. be laggy, I yeah. imagine. Right, so setting up the path of now and forever. Okay. In terms of anti-aircraft guns, we're probably going to need to put one on top of the conning tower, one in front of the conning tower, and, uh... We're going to need to have a aft platform, too. Okay. So, the Path of Now and Forever is her main AI, which is, you know, the important one. That seems like a weird name for an AI. It's a reference. To? Star Control 2. Okay. It's an insanely good sci-fi series. Okay. Or sci-fi game. Uh, unfortunately, they never made a third one. Ah. Uh. Uh, if you get a, cut a cutaway view, they... AI are pretty scattered throughout the design. This one would be the eternal doctrine. Is that my hope? Okay, you know what? Hold up, what is it called? The Eternal Doctrine. Yep. There you go. Good. What should the third AI name be? The Salmatra. All of these are references to that sci-fi, by the way. Okay. All of them. Alright, I need stairs. Stop it. Good old, uh, stair decorations. And then we need more alloy. Or, well, actually, more plates, I should say. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. What? Yeah, I accidentally requested an undo. Do you want me to get it no, ready so you can no. undo? No. No, no, no. I misspec, mis mistyped. <clears throat> Okay. There we go. A simple name, but effective. The four AI are as follows. The Path of Now and Forever, the Dreadnought, the Samatra, and the Eternal Doctrine. Okay.
That is not me. Your microphone. To blow your mind. Almost sound like things Elon Musk would name his drone ships. Absolutely. I still love you. Yeah. That should be an AI name now. <laughs> crack it. Yeah, these brave heights are something. like. What's cracking, cracking? <laughs> so, turns out in Stormy Seas, these casemates do not get washed out. That's excellent. Yeah. Um, completely ahistorical. These should be worthless in heavy seas, but okay. Oh. oh, hey, that's the island that we, uh, fight over constantly. Yep. Probably not gonna I fight over it constantly once we have this thing in service. And I, I, I kind of want to see what happens if the, the Deepwater Guard decide to send a, um, decide to throw a, like, a force and Leviathan's on her trials here. <laughs> Oh my god. We can't shoot yet, though. We don't have, uh, detection. No, we do not. So. They just shoot us a lot. <laughs> well, we can just shoot back. Yeah. Because we have direct control. Something I'm going to do is actually install quite a few individual rangefinders. When I find them. I mean, yeah, we probably small. need, uh, generic detection equipment. And rangefinders would still be good. Oh man, Levy superstructure is getting- forward superstructure is really getting built now. Where would be a good spot to add super, to add a fire control pl plot? We're probably spot. gonna want one either on top of the bridge or on top of the uh, conning tower. Top of the conning tower might actually work for one, or you know we could do on top of the bridge. These would be like big rangefinder boys. No, we could do on top of the bridge. Oh. Um. See if we could get a small elevated platform up there. I want alloy triangle. Might want a larger one than that, but you know. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna give it a seven meter range finder for this. I don't know, maybe you could have the rangefinder elevated somewhat. I don't know. Um, it's difficult to think of what I'm trying to describe. Okay, not Here on the bridge. Here, I just use one of my own rangefinders. One of my own detect uh, detection systems is killing me, but also I know that it would be kind of cheap to do that. Right, let me remove the two you put on the side here, because we need the bridge wings. Oh, fair enough. Um. Yeah. Ah. I like that. Self-contained. I did not... Oh my god, I have, I have that song stuck in my head. You always have some song stuck in your head. I haven't even listened to it for to it for well, I haven't even listened listened to it for a while. There we go. English. I don't speak it apparently, just by having spoken it my entire adult life. Oh, that's funny. in my childhood. My entire life. Okay, that's looking like a better rangefinder. I say we're gonna have to elevate it up, but after we do that, yeah, it'll be excellent. 
What, the one I'm building right now? Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping we can actually walk around the uh, bridge structure here. Let me try it. I mean, right now we have to uh, jump up over there because we don't really have a proper staircase leading up. Come on, door. Please. Oh, I see. Okay, I see why it won't let me shut the door. Because my head's technically in a block there. Okay, so bridge. Oh, should we have radar or not? Uh, we probably should of some sort. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Oh, I I'll see. I'll say it's some early um... model of radar. Okay. Now we can get on the bridge. Oh man, that looks nice from the bridge. Getting to see that forward gun. Where is... What's a good AI block to work with? A wireless receiver, actually. Although... I probably... want to do this. Then, right here, I need a bridge window. Do I have a one meter slope? No, I don't. God damn it. Alright. So this is like early radar, I guess. So it'd be good on naming her Levy. That's just a nickname. Yeah, Levy is the nickname I've got for her. Okay, you know what? I need a different window. Just technically she's gonna have a diff or two different sets of windows here, but who cares? Yaw should be 45 degrees. Okay, left, right, scaling. Set it to that, and then you ought to forty five. No, nope. you ought to positive forty five. <laughs> Currently adding some secondary some secondary fire control positions. Okay. So these three, three, and each. I really so, hope I'm not getting copyrights or right struck here. <laughs> you know those um. No Okay, so there's this one, like, do you know Jack Black? Yeah. Okay, good. So there's a, um, me and a song, you know, I did not mean to blow your mind, right? Right. 
Well, there's a song that crosses that over with Evangelion. And I have it stuck in my head. That's weird. It's the greatest song in the world. This is not the greatest song in the world. This is a tribute. Tri okay, tribute is a really good song. It's, yeah. It's not the greatest song in the world. It's a real fine one, though. Okay, add new decoration, uh, alloy plate, color three. Um, are we going to have a full deck here, or are we just going to have a half deck, because... What do you mean by that? Uh, oh yeah, that tower's there is, is the thing that exists. I forgot. Okay, apply with mirror. I did not mean to blow your mind. Okay, so one thing I've gotten set up with the uh, bridge structure is we do have a couple windows looking aft. So we can kind of move to the side and actually look out the stern of the ship and uh, see some gun or see some of the aft uh, casemates. Oh, that's going to be a cool shot from the bridge. This is going to be a cool bridge to be in. It's always nice to have a ship that's nice to just exist in yep. and operate. Honestly, that's one of my favorite things to do, is make sure my ships can be properly used. Because then they are just so nice. I, I'm hiding the tooltip of all the bridge mimics right now. Um, okay. Yeah, actually, I'm going to have this set for just the secondary battery. So that won't ruin our immersion. What won't? Uh, the tooltips appearing in the bridge. <laughs> yeah, that that's why I make sure the AI... Not the AI, the mimic stuff is always off. Always off. Yeah, I am a proper New Yorker. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually gonna remove the. Or actually, I'm gonna make it a little extension or move it back by a block, which is. Oh, are we having two funnels or one? Two. No, no, uh, right behind the bridge. Oh, only one behind the bridge. And then okay, one good. astern. Okay, good. I realize we had just so much room here anyway that it's like, well, let's just do this. Absolutely gorgeous ship. Yeah, I'm really liking how she's turning out. I'm on an external staircase of some sort on her. I'm going to I'll get rid of that piece. I do like that the conning tower is usable. Yeah, that's more usable than my typical conning tower. The typical conning tower isn't usable at all, though. Yeah. So, it is more usable. Yeah. Alright, so all right, we're bridge... hitting a... Deck is done. Slow point. I'm going to make the funnels uh, finish up. Yeah, finish up the funnels. Um, 
I'll work on the masts more. Or the forward mast more. Da, da, Actually, that is a good oh, God, information no. for the rangefinder. What, the position of the rangefinder that I set up? Yep. That's a good position. Okay. Thank you. Uh, right, so I'm going to do this. Cube. Mimic. Cube. Up, down, scaling, point zero one. Shoop. Shop. Lord Smork Gork and Mork. There we go. Yeah, that's good. You used debug explosion to search the ball rock and it was and it still was an enemy. Is the ball rock not capturable or something? Or is does it just have a really well hidden AI? It's probably just got a really well hidden AI. Probably. Oh, Onyx Watch took that one square from us. Oh God, how will we how will we uh survive without that square? Yeah, that square which doesn't hold any resources in it. all blocks and build only saw like five AI well I mean that was probably more than I killed but still Uh, oil or coal firing? For this? Yeah. Uh, per Ooh, you could do coal if you wanted to. Maybe both. Maybe. One in front and one in back. Are the funnels both the same size? Uh, one of them is slightly wider. Like a single... Well, not wider. Uh, longer. A single block longer. Okay. The aft funnel is a single block longer than the forward funnel. So. Good enough for me. Good enough as makes literally no difference. For my purposes.
on a bit of a crow's nest structure now. But you know what? There we go. Got some basic funnel stuff. Funnel smoke added. Still sane, somehow. You know what? We would go up here. Way too much drag, I think. Let me let me try this. Okay, we need to make that smoke bigger. That smoke looks puny. Okay, that extra Onyx watch ship, the trebuchet, is going to rejoin everything else. Oh god, they got multiple dangerous things. The Iron Cord and the Palisade and a Trebuchet. Let me grab a large funnel smoke block. Look at that smoke now. I can hardly see it. Really? Yeah, you might want to increase the intensity on it. Decrease your bloom, man. Uh, that's it? It might be my bloom. Alright, let me Hold see. Hold on, let me look at my settings real quick. I have bloom. It just says enabled bloom. Okay, reflection bloom intensity is 2 and sun intensity is 2. A bloom intensity is one. What's your threshold factor? One. I don't know why. What are all your other settings at? I don't know why you have uh, such insane. Never increase the. Hold bloom up. Intensity. Are you in degraded mode? I don't think so. Okay, so I've reduced the bloom somewhat. That actually looks a little better. I think that helps. But yeah, still, those probably need to be more intense. I can still barely see them. I mean, the intent isn't to be, you know, super visible. I guess in this case she's oil firing. I don't know. She's probably still good to uh, make them look a little more intense. Uh, afternoon, appropriate greeting. Uh, it's morning. It's good morning. It's 6 a.m. Uh, we've been going for almost six hours now. 
Look at that screenshot. Let me see. I don't care exactly how you aren't able to see them very well. I mean... Zoom yeah. out, because that's probably why you can't see it very well. It's not visible, really. Uh, nah, it's barely in. visible. It's just barely visible even when I'm looking at them. I think it's just... I don't know what it is. Hold up. Performance. What's your particle factor set to? Oh, that could be it. Yeah, your particle factor is really low. Okay, um... Or probably at least. Particle factor 1. Auto-regulate particles emitted 50. I have it to 100. That did it. That did it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Ooh, should, uh, you should save real quick. Give me one moment. And, uh, so thank you, someone. Is also gonna... Thank you, uh, Recreon87 for the follow. Alright, saving the campaign in the midst of your workday, so just gonna lurk. Wanna say howdy first? Alright, we're trying to get this ship done. Uh, Leviathan here. Alright, they're both saved. Sweet. There's an angry Onyx Watch Force up here. With, like, three scary ships. The Strasland's probably scary, too, to be honest. And thank you, Roboman! Uh, 5e15 for the follow as well! And welcome, both of you, to the Nameless Follower Group thingy! Alright, we need a taller mast. I'm gonna... Start to add on just normal alloy pulse from here on out. Like that. That'll probably work. Fairly well. Actually, I'm going to do something interesting up here. Okay, so, oh, I see, these are the mimics. Okay, let me, uh, just take this and delete them. And then delete these guys, and delete these guys. And then do this. Then take these guys, delete them, I'll replace them with mimics in the future, but for now we'll do this. Actually, you know what? No. We'll put the mimics out here. I'm gonna real quick turn this mimic into a decoration. Actually, I think I just rotated a piece I didn't need to rotate. Yep. Yeah, that Why is cool. this block not placing? I do not know. 36 blocks will fall off of Leviathan. I know what. Yeah, I'm trying. Me. Here, look down. I'm trying to replace part of the mass with a. Weapon controller, but it's all, but it's not placing for me. Where? At the base of the. You literally just look down. There's a hole. At the mast or somewhere else. At the base of the ma at not the base of the mast. Near the, <sighs> right under the spotting nest. The little platform under it. Oh, there. I mean, right here? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, hmm? Dude, literally at this small platform right under the spotter's nest. Yeah? With the range finder. Yeah, I can see that. Are you trying yes. to play something there? Because I'm not seeing anything. Other than that rangefinder. Go two blocks behind it. 
two blocks behind it. That still exists. Okay, can you remove the alloy, the mimic block there, because it says 36 blocks will fall. No, 30 blocks will fall off. Did that fix it? Do you want that block? But okay, there we go. What yes, controller? okay, convert block to mimic bro is broken in multiplayer. What else is new? Honestly. Okay. Do you need another block removed for the other thing, or no? Nah. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna save Leviathan right now, and then I'm gonna hit backspace and reactivate connection checks. That didn't change anything. Didn't remove any blocks, so uh, that's odd. Strange so stuff gonna... is happening. So what's going to be put above the spotting nest? Uh, probably just some decorative mass stuff. Maybe we can get a flag up there. I like having this. Oh. I do like having a couple spotting nests, though. That's pretty neat. Yeah. That might not be my best yeah. work with a spotting nest. You know, what? I'm going to see if I can improve it. Uh, we can make that spotting nest fun. Ah, here's... There's literally one way to improve this. That's that I delete. Hey, we can make the spotting nest tech... Eh, never mind, can't. Technically functional, but not really. I guess. Can you double constraint center turret to avoid hitting the ships? Uh, yeah. That's what we did, I believe. Yeah, that's exactly what it... what I did. Uh, forward. I think how hard it is to get those visual cameras to actually have a connection. Okay, now I think the spotting nest looks a little better. Yeah, I like that more. Honestly, I think I kind of want to call it a night for right now. Because I'm, I'm getting pretty tired and I have work and... Oh. Uh, hold up. Uh... How about we build a very... I'll build a ba How about we build a very basic superstructure for the aft end, then we'll get her finally done tomorrow. First tournament battleship built itself apart from its own guns. Nice crow's nest. Thanks. Yeah, we'll work on that mass a little bit more. Alright, so I've got nine hours to, to work. Alright. I'll do a brief little structure back here, just kind of like a base outline, then we can call it. Um, do you wanna... Yeah, I, can, I, can, I can go on six hours of sleep. Let's keep going. Okay. Life isn't about doing what's, what's known, it's about Life isn't about why, it's about why not. I believe that was actually refer referencing science, but... Um... Uh... It's now about no. battleship building, too. Yes! Stream <laughs> AA, AMA, and the others. Oh, God. Should use the pom-pom or the objectively better bofers? Neither. <laughs> because that platform uh, is right in front of the conning tower. No, put put something there. That's what it's for. Yes, but you can't see out of the conning tower. Oh, without that. Yeah. No, what if you use one of the modded simple weapons? And you can probably put a couple no, to the side. No, anything that's two blocks tall it will block the conning tower. View. How about we do this? Spring and block down. Yep. Um. I was planning on a 40 millimeter bofers. Uh, quad. Right here. Anachronicity is my specialty. Alright, we do have to fix those corners at some point. Yes, I can do AI control. My battery charts don't actually have AI controlling them yet. Yeah, we probably need that. 
Probably okay. will, given that the uh, they want to fight us. Yeah. Given that Onyx Watch spawned for a fight. I suppose you mean you catch us streaming? You just woke up? Yeah, we've been going uh, six hours now? Yeah, marathon time. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise, I managed to, to catch you streaming. Dude, you probably went to sleep when we started streaming. Yeah, and then woke up, and then it's like, oh, hey. It's still, still streaming. Going. Yep. I am okay. liking this yeah, bridge now. I absolutely adore this ship. What happened to my second? What happened to my fire control directors? The secondary? I see one of them. That's kind of low for a fire control director, to be honest. You might want to put like an anti-aircraft gun there. It's just a. It's just a secondary director. Okay then. Alright, so on the stern, what sort of structure do we want? Um... On the stern? Yeah, I'm working on the stern right now. I don't know. What kind of structure would you generally see on a ship of this um, interesting age? Um, I'll design. get one Something that has good anti-air qualities. Get a sticks. bit of a tower, but we'll probably be able to build some AA platforms out on it. Actually, I need to work more on the mast, because we need a proper tripod mast. This mast will become tripoded. But... Why... Do you not? Why are you, uh. Okay. This. So this secondary battery. This is interrupted by something. A wood beam. Inside, uh. Yeah, that'd do. Oh, wait, no. What's wrong with you? Hmm? Why is... What? What? What are you clipping with? Alright, so we need mimic alloys. This, this casemate, like, won't turn. That's strange. Which one? None of them have names. Uh, the forwardmost in the secondary group. They're just facing out on either side. The aft group? Yes. They, uh, apparently don't want to do anything. Oh, they're stuck, I see. Try now. Undo. Why did you remove them? Alright, try again. Try now. Can it move? How are they stuck? It, it's moving for me. Yeah, it's moving now. How was it stuck? It got stuck in the block. The block that it wasn't clipping with. It was clip. It got stuck with that block, so... I'm fixing that. Um, maybe I'll do... Maybe we could do this. Okay, prefab mode. Uh, we need... One meter alloy wood slope. That said, I do agree with you on the secondary directors, that they are a bit... Yeah, I don't like... I do agree that I... That's probably not great to have the secondary directors be the same as the main battery directors. 
Okay. I'll use the same directors as are on the Vipers. Okay. And install a tower on the stern as well, too. Yep, probably a good idea. I mean, the Le Leviathan. Leviathan at this point. Look at her. Look at how she's looking. No one good looking ship. Mm hmm. Okay. Alloy pole, four meters. Um. Oh, no, no roll. Yaw will be 45 degrees. Typed in 45. Thank you. Uh, we'll have to change that location, actually. Oh, well. Um. Backward scaling, very high. Okay, you know what? We need... I know what, this is a good enough location. Screw it. It's maybe not 45 degrees. Seven degrees, itch upwards. How's that for a tripod? A L little too thick, but... I'll thin it down slightly. Honestly, I think the thickness helps. I, I think like 0.75 would be a little better. Yeah. I think that helps. Right. Copy it and paste it over there. Please don't give me a copyright strike. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that tripod up there. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot Twitch is actually the site that would probably try yeah. and do that. And I've had issues with it before for far less, so... Okay, fair enough. Then. Oh. I mean, I've literally had issues from just normal talking in the past, which just don't get Seriously? resolved. Yeah. Like, wait, like false pos false positives from just talking, which have never gotten resolved. I never gotten they... undone. What? What was the? What do they say with the false positive? Well, they just list a sing, or they just list a song, which it um, is supposedly a copyright of, and then I disputed it, and nothing happened. Huh. Okay. Which is kind of horrible. Um, as soon as soon as I can get my money out of them, I'm probably well, money from affiliate program. I'm cashing out and moving to YouTube entirely for streaming. Blocks of these. Ally wants two M slip transition right. Good. No, oh, that's gonna need fencing so that uh, we can actually see through the conning tower aft.
There we go. Smoothing out the stern yeah, a little bit. Content creators will protecting ear girls, basically. If they got the false positives figured out, I'd definitely consider it more. Like, resolution for them? But no, they don't have resolution for them. That's why I don't want to stay. Yep, the DMCA is to protect them, not me. He's exactly right. Okay. I should just put stairs on my bar. That's just probably a really good place to put stairs in right there. Okay, so that's oh, yeah, actually just doubled up on our deck. funnel smoke. Which makes it look actually kind of awful now. Yeah. And occasionally glitching for me. Oh, that's me removing them. If you, if okay. that's them turning pink for you. Okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna get this area back here fixed. I'm gonna convert this into a full deck. It's just trying to do a full deck with wood is always a little tricky. Hey, look at that. So, she lists very heavily whenever turning. Well, that's mildly concerning. Indeed. Do you want to know my response to that? What? More propellers. More stabilization propellers? Yes. But... That could also be taken to mean just make her faster. Yeah. You see, com comrade, speed is the only way. Um, Admiral Fisher to basically every admiral, basically any ship designer <laughs> ever. You see, if our ships run out of fuel five minutes into an engagement because they run because they're going too fast, they're not going fast enough. They should run out of fuel one minute in. Right, so what I want to do is I want to take first of all take one piece I had somewhere. The hell did I have this piece? Oh, right here. Oh, they're running out of fuel because of beauty. Okay, where is 
Where's my fake? Oh yeah. Don't don't ever let BT next to um the oil bunkers. He likes to drink it. So what I want to do here is I want to place in probably a normal mimic. Wood block. Uh, I just need to be colorful. Four. Right, so up down scaling up down. Positioning four five. Okay, so that's a copy and pasteable block right there. I should not. No, not four nine nine. What about seven five? Is that okay? That's clipping. Seven four is not clipping, so that's copy and pasteable. Okay, so I want to take this, move it here, and then take this guy. Good. It's forward backward scaling, and then forward backward positioning. Okay, so I'm converting that half deck into a fully traversable, walkable deck. Okay. And there's a weird strategy I'm use or I'm employing to do this. But it should work. I mean, technically we could walk around in it before, but we couldn't see, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. You're using a lot of mimics. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. It be mimic time. Why don't you use alloy plates and uh, get four meter beam wood mimics, wood wood decor decorations? Ah, uh, I think this is just easier to do. I guess if you want to. I I guess. <laughs> it's the same number of blocks either way. Fair enough. Why don't I just? Ooh, would a fill tool work here? The answer to that is no. I need to undo this. There we go. I should have hidden the tooltip before placing all these down. Ah, oh, well, it's not like we're going to use that half deck much anyway. Let me just try it real quickly before I say anything stupid like that. Oh, I'm going to start installing some anti-air guns. Because I realized I can be doing things. Yep. Okay, the nice little half deck now exists. Cool. It is traversable. It's annoying, but it is traversable. This one's an unshielded um, twin bofers, 40 mill millimeter bofers. 466,000, so the cost of a javelin. Right now, at least. A four sixty nine thousand. Okay, I need a door which is on four into there. 
Don't you hate it when you're going to, or when you're about to sneeze and then your nose just suddenly decides, no, I don't think I will. Yeah. Alright, so that deck's now traversable. Okay. It's even worse when it makes you, when it gives you that really dumb look on your face. And it's just like, oh, by the way, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> I don't feel like sneezing tonight. Okay, you know what? You need to be an alloy plate. You need to be an alloy plate. And then we need uh, stairs up here. Oh, I see we're sitting next to Viper and Albacore for some reason. May they rest in peace. We're visiting the grave. respects. I mean, atmosphere skimmer? Cool. Oh, we could put an AA gun on top of the uh, conning tower. Good, yeah. Or put an AA suite up there. It's probably a good idea. Gophers. Mrs. Mrs. Did you call me Mrs. It's the band hammer time. <laughs> Wait, where is one of those bases I need? Uh, over here. At this moment, he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> okay, now the question is, is that stair still traversable or not? Because it might not be, but it might be. Um, I'm gonna say that's not traversable even though it technically worked. Yeah, you know what? I don't care. Bunch of, of uh, single form 40, 40 millimeter Bofors guns. Gun mounts. It worked, but I didn't like it, basically. Okay, so now we can get up onto this deck. Go in here. Look through the portholes. Um. We need an interior way down. Why right, this deck's not even complete yet.
Ah, here's what we do. Okay, we do this here, and then we do this here. Actually, no, no, we just do this here. And then we'll do well enough. Okay, okay, that sounds amazing. Apparently you damaged Leviathan a little bit in the process, but okay. Okay, so, okay, we can access there. Oh, crap. What? Um, okay, so, installing it, uh... Yeah, it can work, it can work, it can work, it can work, it can work. You know what, buddy? It can absolutely. Um, oh no! Oh no! They're, they're attacking doing the attacks. Okay, we I'm have everything there, which we can use to respond with. Um, let's save. Give me one. Oh god! No, we gotta save the campaign right now. I'm saving the oh, campaign. Oh no, no! Give me. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, do that. Save the vehicle. Give me a second before the battle. Okay. Moving now. Receiving. Okay, Javelin. Oh my god. Javelin. Oh my god, seriously? Cerberus. Halberd will move her forward. We'll move our Flounder forward. We'll move Guardian forward. Palisade forward. Cobra forward. I assume we're not ready for combat yet. I, aside from a lack of AA, she's pretty much functional. Um, okay, so she's not done, but, uh, can she detect stuff? Yeah. Alright, start moving her up to the battle. Should we pull her out of play? Yes. Up there. She isn't 100% finished. She's out, moving at. But she she's moving at three knots. Actually... Just spawn her in and accelerate her full speed. Full speed ahead. Okay. Oh my god! Game, stop. Cease. I moved What's everything actually... forward. How's it going on Bob the Builder video game? Uh, well, we're about to be attacked, so this is gonna be bad. Um, we're moving our battleship in. Leviathan is, uh, getting to move in because the Onyx Watch are attacking us. So we're gonna have to immediately board the Onyx Watch ships and take, like, two of them off the bat. Okay. Alright, so what can we bring in? We can bring her in. Cool. <laughs> that's 60 k that's 40k that's almost a quarter a third i think of the entire onyx watch fleet okay so that's home sweet home we got the ironclad we got the bastion i assume they're both combat ready mm -hmm. um i moved lance head out of action please do all right so man <laughs> okay at full battle size we're almost going to have everything in. Whatever we have at the bottom isn't going to be in. So I'm going to move probably Ironclad to the bottom. Yeah, Ironclad. The, the Vipers can be can stay at the bottom. They're yeah. not really the Okay, best. so Javelin at the top. Javelin at the top. Cerberus at the top. Um, Bastion's kind of small. Leviathan as well. Leviathan is finally getting to see duty. Yep, Leviathan will be at the top. Guardian will be there. Um, the Palisade will need to be there, too. Okay, I'm going to move Competitor and the Halberd up there. Um... Oh, and V1 up there, too, and then... Okay, so... Not... Uh... The Ironclad should be down lower. Alright, let's... Let me move some stuff up above it, then. 
Okay, Ironclad's on the bottom. Uh, top, 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 top. Top. Okay, so I'm putting the flounder, uh, I'm putting the flounder below Cottonmouth and such. And then... Moving those guys back up. Move competitor up. I should all move these guys up too, and then there we go. I think that's a good way to have our list. So we don't want home sweet home in this engagement. So what what we want to do is some of these ships are going to spawn close enough that we can immediately jump on board them, like that uh, Strasland, for example. Um. So what we can do is we can warp some of these ships, and if I move them around, do you see them moving? Uh, no. I see you moving, not them moving. Okay. We are gonna... How about you select a ship, move it around, kinda initially push them back to a location you want to be in, like, here. Well, I'm, I'm taking control of Leviathan, bringing her into the battle. Okay. I don't trust her AI. I don't trust that we can win this battle, but I do trust that uh, I can board some of their ships and take them. Okay. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm up close to the Strasland, which is going to be one of their um, heavier vessels in terms of block count. Oh man, we're actually gonna get to see Leviathan in action now. <laughs> the waking of oh Leviathan God. has woken up. Leviathan wakes. Yep. She doesn't have. Oh, yeah, she does have a. Let me uh, just half hang. a million. Probably gonna increase to, to a or almost half a million. Probably gonna increase to properly half a million. Let me move some of With the forces Leviathan, around. With Leviathan, we should push up to uh, the space above us. I mean, I kind of want to get her done first, but okay. So I'm gonna yeah, use the castles. Enough. I'm gonna use the castle ships as a bit of a guard force. Here, literally their job. Yep. Receiving. 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 Okay. Okay. So the Strasland's the closest one. Uh, I'll try to land on her first. And this is probably gonna get very laggy very quickly. Yep. Alright, let's go. No, don't I'm, go yet. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. Um, I'm in a weird position in regards to the Strassland. I said... Okay, okay. Sorry. I thought it had started no, there. I'm not it, was going. Just a, it was just a lag spike. Oh, man. I'm nerves. 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 It's gonna be so pretty. Yep. Just tell me when. Okay. Now I'll press the the big white button. All right. Uh, three, two, one, go. Oh my God! The lag spike. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Things are loading up. Yep. Strasland is a nice sailing vessel. Looks like. And has already taken damage because I was already shooting at her. Okay, you know what? Get on. Lame that I didn't get on board there. Come on, shoot the propeller out. Shoot that propeller out. Shoot your second propeller out, please. Leviathan takes up like half the screen with um, half the AI list with her own onboard AI. So her main and secondary battery are not yet actually properly functional, and I'm taking... Okay, so the Strasland... Large missiles to the face. 
Oh god, the battle's been wrecked. Okay, Strasland is gone. I just got hit. Hey look! Hey look! Huge missiles are erasing things without a care in the world. Please die already! Okay, look at the map. Um... How? What? Man, I am getting killed by everything. Okay, I'm going to our palisade. Okay, Guardian, I'm, I'm trying to warp towards. I'm seeing chunks of Leviathan just vanish when a huge missile strikes. It's really depressing. Guardian's currently in the middle of everything. Hey, have I told you how much I despise the Onyx Watch's huge missiles? They aren't fun. They just, like, blip half yep. of the ship out of existence. So how is, uh... How's she holding up? Um, well, she's alive. Uh... Her guns aren't firing. It's probably a detection issue. No, no, they don't have AI control. Her guns just aren't firing when I'm holding down the button. Oh. To tell them to fire. That's odd. I've got an Onyx Watch castle ship here. I can probably board and take in just a moment. Assuming that she doesn't die. Assuming that I don't get killed trying to board her. Get down in the vessel. Just a sec, is it in here? There's AI in there. Alright, this lance is taken. Putting some repair tentacles on her. I forgot to get the uh, repair bot set up so that she can fix yeah, you can herself. Take a look at Leviathan. Her bow is gone. Okay, so that iron cordon's dead, I'm assuming. I'm gonna... Turning off. Okay, so we did get one capture off. I haven't mentioned Mars to you guys yet. Well, something's health below 80 and sinking. That was an enemy, yeah, I assume. Yeah, real quick. What? Real quick, can you uh, stick a bunch of AI... Or... No, sorry. Um... Repair bots on Leviathan? I would not be able to since I'm uh, currently commanding a different ship and about to capture another Onyx Watch vessel. Okay, sweet. Assuming this approach is good. Guardian, go to AI control. Oh. That was some... Oh, God. I'm stuck on Guardian herself. Seriously, game! Oh, my God. That was stupid. Making a custom planet. Okay. Stupid 
boat. Come on, get aboard. Thank goodness I'm aboard. The sheer lag. I don't know what's friend and what's foe. All I know is I have huge missiles coming towards me. We need lambs. This thing needs lambs. Badly. Really badly. She's at 85% health. Alright, I'm pulling her out. And lambs don't don't help much against huge huge missiles. God, I fucking hate the Onyx Watch. Oh god, I'm on a but ship which is too damaged. One weapon, and it is the biggest weapon in the game. Literally uncounterable. Oh god. Well, it appears that her armor scheme works. However, she's taking absolutely gargantuan levels of damage. How do I the water keep line. dying? Because he didn't hit. Yeah. God damn it! I didn't even get a successful capture off there. It was just, you know, death. All right, so that claymore is dead. Probably want to be on guardian. New ship spawning in. Oh, she's slowly sinking. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Can Leviathan pull out? No. Well, we've got few Still enemies not. left, so... Yeah, I, I swear, if Leviathan sinks in her If Leviathan sinks in her first battle... I'm going to just have a lot of very angry words. Okay, so my hope was that we could use the anti-aircraft guns to uh, shoot... Nobody's down. You know what? I'm gonna auto. Man. Receiving. I have one ship left. They're gonna have one ship left. Distraction works great so long as they're not remote guided. Oh, that might be a good tactic then. Yep, alright. The trebuchet is down. We got one more over here. A mandrel. I'm gonna start doing Damcon then. Okay. Yeah, take a look at Leviathan. She's uh seen better, seen better days. days, yeah. We need to get her work a bit. Worked a bit. Or just I don't know. We need to get her missiles or not her the missiles, concept her of a, guns of working no belt against missiles. Is, honestly I disagreed. With the idea of not having a belt, and this is this is why. Because yeah, a lot of uh, basically it's the exact same reason protected cruiser is bad in rule of the waves. It, a lot of structural damage. There's a lot of structural damage, but her main components are still largely functional. Um, her aft two turrets are functioning. Her middle two turrets, I don't know how they're not functioning. Yeah, her have AI. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, she's lost. Her secondaries have been ruined, but she's still afloat. And her, yeah, she's still pretty good below the waterline. Looks like her belt really, her belt and deck have not heavily been pen, or have not been heavily penetrated. Despite her condition, she's 
largely relatively functional. Getting through the huge missile is way harder than making the missile miss. That's fair. So flares. We need flares. Large flares, probably. Not just I can double just flares. I can dual purpose the funnels for those. Nah, I'm not gonna dual purpose funnels for those. All right. Seriously though, jeez. We yeah, got large flares probably with uh Well, battle's finished. Um, I don't think we lost anything. We probably gained a ship. Um, Leviathan's at 86% health. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to say she held up as well as expected. But she didn't do... It could have been worse. First off, she tanked at least a dozen huge missiles. Her bow is spectacularly unprotected. Honestly, shields, I think. I think we're fine. No, 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 shields. In terms of- I don't think we're fine. I saw the bow get disintegrated by huge missiles. We need something to protect her. Okay, I'm looking in the bow. Um, again, that's the unarmored part, though. Yes, but it's still relatively important for you know, going fast, which is something Leviathan is intended to do. I think we're overthinking how protected to make the ship. I think she's plenty protected. Even though she's in bad shape, she's still relatively functional, and we're gonna have multiple of these things. As long as we get some, if we get some flares, that'll help. Every non-armored part was busted. It's kind of normal. Yeah, because every armored part wasn't busted. Okay, the Javelin's missiles are radar-guided. How do we throw those off? Do we have radar, radar jammers? Well, I can't do anything until the battle's over, and that ship is taking its sweet time, dying. Uh, the battle's been over. Ah, and the game is pretending it's still not. Wonderful. I'm going to ten times speed right now. I, I The game is still acting like uh, the battle's on. That's strange. Okay. Yeah, I can't do anything. As a uh, radar signal generator missile components for decoys. Okay, yeah. We can use those, um, combine them with flares, and get that set up on the funnel. Can we quickly switch out and switch back in? Yeah, okay. Because we're going to have to do that here. Turning the lobby. Trying to remember, is this something where I had where I had to restart the game, no. or is this just something where we had to start the game again? Start the, just return to the lobby and go back. I think oh. it's gonna happen every time the Onyx Watch sends a massive fleet. I guess. Hopefully, they won't keep sending them. Make an Aegis destroy if you want a dedicated AM cruiser. All right. Good. Okay, so Lance is repairing. Everything else moved back. We're good. 
And then Landside's over there. I'm going to pull her back. Now that the Onyx Watch have stopped being incredibly, massively rude, um... Alright, I'm trying to get her, stair her internal staircases in. That was what I was doing when the Onyx I Watch decided to be the rude. Secondary battery. I can start making the secondary battery uh, properly functional. Also, maybe you're gonna need to go to bed by this point because um, it's actually getting pretty close. No, to... it's, uh, okay, yeah, we're getting pretty close. Just tell me when. I'm getting her uh, stairs installed now. Is this alloy beam here? That one should be gone. And instead, replace with some alloy plates. All right. So we need what is it? decorations, stairs. So then. Uh, do you want to take her against the uh, not Onyx Watch against uh, Deepwater Guard, real quick? I'm not so sure. something useless from the Onyx from from the Deepwater Guard. Shows Onyx up. Water Guard. There we go. <laughs> no, but yeah. Uh, take them against something from Deep Water Guard. Okay, so we get this. What Deep Water Guard do you think would be able to actually face her in battle? Uh, that, I don't know, specifically. Wait, is this actually traversable? It might not be traversable. Right down here? Yeah, that's the staircase down here. Go up here. Okay, yeah, that doesn't function as I want it to function. Would a large missile work well enough for... Disabled, for... Acting as a massive flare. I don't think we want to do a large missile for a massive flare. If you if you're doing flares, you want to do small missiles usually. Okay, but that's not going to really dissuade anything. It might. It, it should. It's providing a heat source and uh, all that extra stuff. I would you imagine. What's bigger would... heat source though? I don't think we need a bigger heat source. If we want to do normal sized missiles, try that, sure. I mean, all it's trying to do is it's trying to distract it with some heat. Well, or some yeah, uh, radar. The ship itself has way more heat. The ship itself provides a far larger target, so we need to. Well, the heat on the ship's more spread out. Okay, but it's still a far larger target. I don't know if that'll work. That won't work. That block's kind of prohibiting me from going in that space, right? No, I can. So let's say I go there and then go down. Okay, that should be possible. No, it's not. Okay. I'm having, like, multiple staircase issues here. 
Kind of bad. Kind of bad how fail badly I'm failing at stair or at, uh, making a you know actual working staircase. Okay, so this is the staircase we need. Here's how we do it. One here, then here, then here. And then that's our staircase. And for the rest of these, we just use some alloy. Here, and here, and maybe even here. Uh, that maybe even there is not going to work. Then I can go up here, just fine. Alright, now we're on this floor, and now I can go up here, and now we're on this floor. Now I gotta get up another floor. And the doors are back there, so this will be annoying. It just shouldn't be that annoying. Uh, we just gotta install internal... Okay, we gotta get inside the bridge. Okay, please undo that. Oh, uh, never mind. Never mind. I'll fix this. Oh, by the way, I'm installing a shield ring. A ring shield. Okay. They're relatively good at making things better. Usually. And we have the power for that? Yeah. yeah, we can easily install additional power if needed. Okay then, I'll trust you on this one. Right now we're pretty much only limited by just the batteries. Okay, I'm hoping that's a good way up. Because we're here, go up. God damn it. That didn't work. Is it this block? Yeah, it's okay. It's that block, which is stopping me. Because of fucking course it is. Okay. So, bam, bam, bam. I'm gonna move you. I'm gonna move you. No, you. Okay. I need to see what I'm doing here. Here's what we do. Okay, where is my... Here it is. So this becomes a mimic, that becomes a mimic, on the outside that looks pretty normal, and then, from inside here we can do this, 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 put that in, we can put that in, and then have a nice little staircase go up the side. And there we go, the bridge is now accessible. And most, yeah, pretty pretty much still fully traversable. Then we can go down here, that's where the armored conning tower is. And we're still inside the ship the whole time, and then we go down to our little half deck layer. And now that we're on the half deck layer, we can get down to the lower deck. And the next deck down pretty easily. Now we could go through the conning tower. Or I could just uh, add another staircase in here. Next to the funnel. Hmm. 
Now we have a way down. This deck's traversable. Oh, well, there's a little weird jump you have to make there to get through, but oh well. Okay. And now if we want to get down to the next deck of the ship. Just gotta engineer another way down. Okay. Which would be probably... I'll put it here. Which means that now we're on the uh, casemate deck. That's your radar signature. I'm testing how big of a distractor you'll need. Uh, how do we check that? Oh, we're at 500,000 now. How much does, is that shield costing? Uh, 100 per projector. Okay. What, I'm, I checked our heat to see our hot components. The, oh yeah, uh, they, they create, they create yeah. a lot of heat. Yeah. Okay, where do I check the radar signature? Middle mouse button when not in build mode. Detection lines. Okay, so over, over to the, on a broad side, we apparently have a 12,000 meter detection. Hmm. 12,700 meter detection. On the bow end, it looks like it's about 7,700 meters. Bow and stern, 7,750. Seven, I'm not sure we need the shields. I think it's just better if we do the missiles. Are those... Did you seriously use large missile hatches for... Heat signatures? One second. Yeah, I did ask you to not. We probably just need normal flares, except with the planner shields. Now we do ne actually need a... Uh, no, they're gone now. What smoke canister? We could refit smoke canisters on when we face the lightning hoods. That's my thought. So what are those missiles for? Well, they have three reinforced bodies, so... Please don't tell me you're seriously going to use large missiles as flares. That seems kind of wasteful and expensive. Yes, but have you seen what we're fighting? Fight, yeah, yeah. We don't need large missiles for flares. I don't know how much more clear I have to make that. They're homing in on heat. We just need to produce other heat sources. And we can do that with smaller mi medium missiles. Hello, chocolate fudge cake. Currently in a little bit of an argument about... um. Oh yeah, heat radar. Yeah, we do need radar signatures, um, to... I mean, we need to resist both. We need to resist heat, we need to resist radar. Shouldn't need large flares. No, see? Shouldn't need large flares, we shouldn't need large radar things. Every time I've seen flares used, they haven't really done much, unless they were massive. I've seen them work pretty well before. I will go all out arpeggio blue seal, honestly. It's an aesthetic. Where do they put the missile? It's controller? honestly it's cheaper to just get hit than using large flares. Is it? Missiles are really expensive. Yeah, but so is taking twenty thousand uh materials worth of damage. 
And how many materials is a uh, missile launcher worth? Because those things, those are not cheap missile launchers. I should see where did where did the where did the missile controller go? The search for the AI core, the mainframe. It continues. Aren't launch missiles themselves very expensive? Yeah, they are. Um, I don't know if the missiles themselves are that expensive. Um. But the, uh... Launchers definitely are. A lot of ammo. Yeah. For dedicated sea whiz. I mean, we're trying to resist uh, large missiles here, but if we're going Sea Whiz, then we should try to use, like, s set some of the Bofors and such up for for it. It doesn't, it doesn't help much. There it is. No, but how much is it to cost? How much does it cost to fire one missile? You can check. Material cost, 48. Alright, shoot. But I still don't think we need large missiles. Not for, not for this purpose. And there, and it would probably better put them alongside the turrets. And thank you, Chocolate Fudge Cake, for following, and welcome to the Nameless Follower Group thingy. <sighs> okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Perfectly honest, what ships were using large missile flares? Maybe, or, I mean, I guess radar. We need, to, we need to, to put the radar thing on them, but still, uh, yeah. Because um, that was the exact fact that I saw. But plate, what? How large of a thing do we need for this to resist this sort of a uh, radar? <laughs> Come on, line it there. Oh god damn it! I fucked stuff up because I had the wrong alignment. I hate when that happens. This. I'm gonna just replace this this with uh, standard anti everything normal missiles. Maybe maybe a decoy buoy launcher is more in spirit with large missile flare. This is what I want. There we go. Nice. We are literally drifting on uh, 
just spare purple, uh, literally just spare kinetic energy. Okay, how the hell? Oh, I see, because I was in the wrong thing before. Great. So my mirror mode was off. Where I fixed this all already? I don't know, maybe I didn't. Looks like a signal strength of 10,000 will distract about half of the large missiles, having two or three medium launchers that are three to four blocks long with just radar decoys. Oh, sweet. Okay. The entire thing is a radar decoy? Yep, and we need medium launchers, so yeah. Three to four long with just radar decoys. And I assume I assume you're gonna need to put launchers on that, probably. Although do you wanna move that setup amidships? Near where the main turrets are. Because that where you have it right now could be used as an anti aircraft platform. I take it that's a no? Put it amidships around the turrets? Yeah. Height, that's the issue. Oh, height. I mean, maybe closer to the edge from there. Why would height be an issue here versus in the other location? The, the slope deck. Okay. Well, let me move it closer to the edges. Where we launch them at an angle. Oh, launch them at an angle out the back of your ship. That's fair. Well, we could launch mm -hmm. them at an angle out the side of the ship, too. Oh yeah, if we, the angle, if we just... angle them outward. Oh yeah, the funnels are a good location. It is eight. Oh god. You want to do this next time? Um, I don't know. I mean, more p work on Leviathan can always wait, as long as they don't fall back. Yeah, as long as they don't fall in line. As long as we shoot them out to the side, we'd be fine. It's something I've done before in the past with uh, flares. So how much would a single... a single gantry large missile... Launch or do. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother with a large missile. Get more mediums. Are you actually? Are you able to fit a single gantry large missile in? Yeah, easily inside the funnels. I say just try try the mediums. Let me get down into portion of the ship. Single segment large missile six thousand four hundred strength, so not good enough. Mm. Sad fair enough, I guess. You know what, we put multiple ways up to this deck, why don't I just calmly remove that, then have a way up to this deck from here.
Oh, and if you have four ejectors, then you can set the ejection angle to be out the side of the ship with a decent velocity, yes. Okay, so let's do this, and then give me a nice little stair here, stair there, stair there, and then I think we are going to need to... I'll swap this guy out for a plate, and then another plate like so. Uh, Mid-stair needs to be corrected to a stacked stair. Okay, that's possible. Tra traverse. Uh, in general, strongish with two or three out in the world at any time. Okay, so apparently you do want moderately strong chaff, but you know, we could get it from. Oh. Just medium missiles. Oh, did you launch an actual <laughs> missile itself? The, the decoys. <laughs> I didn't exactly consider maybe. Um. Just, just this put... direction is, is bad. Um, don't put engines on them. Just put... Oh, yeah. You have to aim them upward. Don't put any engines on them, though. Just put ejectors. That's all they need. Like, four ejectors per thing. And they'll launch up with good momentum. Put a spin block as a turret for the flames. Put it at an angle. No, we can just set the angle from the ejectors themselves. All we need to do. Second deck's now accessible. I uh, no, actually, what am I calling it? Second deck, I don't know. Stop decoying if submerged. Hmm. We're on enemy territory, we can't build. Pull back, pull us back. We're going in the wrong direction, dude. I, I literally have not had the engines on. Hmm. We've just been drifting this whole time. Alright, I'm gonna yeah. spawn us in. She should accelerate here, right? Yeah, we literally wound up drifting in Onyx Watch territory while building this thing at just 3 meters per second. I don't know where all that additional momentum came from. Okay, cool. Alright, so then the staircase I want to get is up here. You know what? I'll do this. Hmm. Oh, we need to start it back. There. Okay, here's my question. If that's done... Okay, I'm on 
this deck now. Okay, so we can just kind of clip through this, so this is still technically traversable. Okay, that actually looks kind of ugly. So this is traversable, but it looks ugly. So I'm not sure we want to do it. Yeah, I don't think I want to do it like this. I will put a ladder in over here, though. <laughs> like that. And then to get up to the actual bridge itself. I'll just stretch this out. There we go, that's accessible. Oh god, my thumb is actually starting to hurt a little bit. Uh, we're about to be attacked. Move us forward, move us forward. Uh, sorry, I had to pull us out of play. And we're going slower than we could. Yep, yeah, okay. Put us in play, and just move us. Dude, we can turn. We have the ability. There we go. That's an iron quarter. We- We're- You just pulled us out of play! Okay. Okay, come on. Three, four, now we're moving. And you're blockaded. <sighs> God damn it. This is why uh, I don't pull ships out of play when they're being built. We... For whatever reason, we stopped moving while we were going back. And I don't know why. Receiving. Let's just fight. Okay, but I believe this one has big missiles. You wanna just fight? I can get the missile things online if you can get the ship to start sprinting as fast as possible. Alright. Begin battle. Okay. We have a... Turn it a point away from the enemy. And then just go. Yep. Fast. You pointed her towards the enemy. Almost. Ugh. God, this game. I swear to God, this game is terrible as hell sometimes. Where is the fucking build? Of course, it's way over at you... the bow. Took multiple hits already. We need to shoot right. her. Here, get out of the way, get out of the way. Or use group four. Use group four. Which one's group four? Oh my god, get out of the get out of the conning tower so I can take control of the weapons. Okay, fine. Alright, sweet. Are those big missiles or are those medium missiles? 
of course our engines don't have the time to get to speed. I don't think we can. We literally got blockaded. God damn it. We need to board. We need to board. We need to board. <laughs> I literally spawned and immediately died. Come on. You you got to you got to border. You got to border. Why is the iron cord Oh my. F Why is it and right And now here? the game is running at 2 FPS. I hate this game with an iron fist. Kill the AI, please. I'm I'm trying. I'm lagging. Um, if I recall, she has three AI. Um, Trying to remember, we need to get down in the ship. This is this is an AI, right? Yep. There's one obvious one, two hidden ones. Obvious AI removed. Um. Where the hell are the hidden ones again? Okay, those are her torpedoes. Are they in here somewhere? Blast and sinking. She's ah. just sunk. Is she too damaged or no? See if we can get on her and- She's underwater! Try to sustain her repairs if possible. I'm trying. Sustained by repairs, 95 seconds. I don't remember where the fucking AI are on this thing. Might be able to go for the ammunition if it stops lagging. Stop lagging, game. Blow up a thing of ammo. Oh, no, I need to shoot through here. How's your ship doing? We're trying to keep it afloat. Uh, Keep it alive somehow. I didn't come up with anything at this point. Shit, that's... Are you managing She's to- gonna run out of materials. Kill the AI! I can't find it! I'm, I'm trying to kill the damn ship at this point. I don't know. There's like two hidden oh. AI somewhere. She's out of resources. Out of materials. I'm calling bullshit on this. This was every- Yeah, the Onyx- The Onyx watch straight up just- doesn't... What is the Onyx watch even? Oh, I found the AI. I found the AI course. Hold on. I can kill him. I can kill him. One AI core Please down. Do so quickly, because I cannot... One down? One down. Uh, I'm trying to find the second one. 
Another one somewhere in here. Okay, she's able to get to some speed on literally no materials. Actually, it was a center AI, so there must be another one hidden somewhere. I'm stuck. Okay, so Leviathan is repaired enough to move, right? Oh, here, duh. Why did I not see this? Uh, we're gonna get the capture here. We should, right? We're done. Oh my god, hitting the side of the map actually just saved Leviathan, right there. Okay. Moving now. Receiving. Moving now. Gotta get Leviathan back, but... Receiving. Moving okay. Now. We can scrap the Iron Cordon. Receiving. Moving now. Receiving. And get Leviathan repaired. So what did you place down? Did you just place down a bunch of extra blocks? I literally used the fill tool with repair bots. I killed about a hundred thousand materials. Okay, we gotta pick up those repair bots again. It was eighty-seven yes. percent. Literally went from sinking to floating. So. Lancehead is heading over now. Where are these repair bots? We'll pick up the resources from the scrapped iron cordon. Where did you place them? You took her out of place, and now she doesn't have the drive from her. I just put her back Hopefully. into play. I put her... She's back in play already. How badly desynced are you? Oh, there's the repair bots. Yep, but you took her out of play, then put her back into play. Yeah. Which means the undo can't be done. Which means you have to remove yeah. all of these one by one. Which is what I'm doing. I was asking where they were so I could do it. Oh god, now it's lagging. It started out being really... working really well until... now, where it just suddenly started lagging. Picking up materials. Yep. I am running at about one FPS right now. This is why I didn't want you to pull on the play. Oh, sorry. It was initially working well, and then it just suddenly stopped. And I don't know why my FPS is suddenly just... Because there's some... about 300 repair bots. Okay, I removed shift delete, should get rid of oh all god. the repair bots. Oh move. god, oh god, undo, 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 undo! What did you do? There we go. Erased a casement gun. There we go. Did you seriously put them up on the casemate deck? I put them on any deck I could find. The ship was sinking. Alright, that's fair. So, shift delete should get rid of all tools. No, undo, undo, hold on. Ah, fine. Never mind. I'll just uh, replace that helium pump myself. After this, I'm going to bed. Because I. 
Yeah, this is... It's nine. Yeah. This, we're at... this stream has gone on for a lot longer. Yeah, it's gone on for a very long time, and we've had a lot of issues, so... Hey, at least she's patched up now. We've got... Oh my... Okay. We have a nightingale going that way. Receiving. Moving now. No, we're not fighting. No, <laughs> we're not. No. Alright, you know what? You wanna end, um... Uh, are the repair stream. bots off? By this point, they should be. I still see one long deck of them. Alright, then... And the, them. uh, well, not an entire deck, a uh, set of them. I think that might be the normal line? set, so... Yeah. Those are normals. That... Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. Probably have to examine the ship further later on. Okay, so we've just lost. We've just left a bunch of salvage up there. Okay. Fifty-two thousand salvage, which we've just left. Receiving. Okay. Let's save the campaign and the vehicle. There's like five, two hundred reasons to go back. We'll go back later. All right. So with that, as we uh, head back after having barely saved Leviathan from a battle she wasn't supposed to get into, um, because everything managed to go wrong simultaneously, we made like. How many mistakes there? Like five or yeah. something? Uh, anyway, with all that sorted, she's finally headed back to base. Um, with that, uh, we will see you next time, which so far has been like once every day, but I don't know when we're actually going to take a break. Um, Honestly, I think today might be a good time to have a break. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a more frustrating one, definitely. <sighs> Seven and a half hour stream. Yeah. Uh, anyways, yes, thank you everyone for watching. If you happen to be new here, if you happen to be new here, I have links to my Discord, YouTube, and Twitter down below. You can join my Discord if you want notifications of the live stream. You can go to YouTube if you want to check out old live streams and, uh, um, you know, see future live streams when they get uploaded. And Twitter exists. If you happen to be watching this on YouTube, then the, uh, Twitch link will, or the, Twitch, no, the YouTube link will instead be replaced with a Twitch link, which is where you can originally, uh, watch all these live streams as they happen. Um, these, are, of course, in the... If you're on Twitch, these are in the... Uh, dis or kind of like the channel description thingy. Um, if you're on mobile, you will not be able to see them, from my understanding, unfortunately. So you would have to privately ask for any of them. Uh, if you're on YouTube, they'll just be in the description. You'll be able to find them easily. So, yeah, thank you, everyone who watched this. I will save the campaign as we made a little bit more progress going back there. And, uh... There's both me and Beef here. Signing Get some off. Sleep. Signing off and getting some sleep. So with that, bye. And. We'll see you next time. I was not expecting this one to go on as long as it has, but hey, we did we did awaken Leviathan. Not she's not working as well as she should, but we did awaken her. Still technically unfinished. Yeah, we need to get her uh guns working. And probably a little bit better detection, like some visual sensors at the side or something. Alright. Bye! <laughs>